Okay. Thank you, John. So I'd like to welcome everyone to the Thursday, March 24th, 2022 Public Arts um, Commission meeting. Um, I've got a ton of notes. So if I look like I'm looking off to the side, I'm just staring at my pile of notes here. So um, please forgive me. John, can you uh, take attendance and try to establish a quorum, please? John, what am I? Guest is me. Why am I guest? Okay. Uh, yes, I will. Lucy, um, you you look like you're coming in as guest, but that's okay. Can I John, change John's my? John's going to uh, check and make sure that you're here. There's this thing. Lucy, how oh, can I put my new ear on? Let's just. Uh, we've start already video? started the meeting, so let's go ahead and let you're John. On right oh, now. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There we go. John, can you? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, chair well, Walton. This is the chair. I'm here. Uh, Commissioner Corrigan. Here. Commissioner Couture. I'm on two here. Communities. Commissioner Janjigian. One is in the community center and one is outside. Commissioner so Janjigian is here. Her. And Commissioner uh, Moore. Is her and and, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Those that are speaking off the record, please mute your computers because I can't hear what's going on when there's background noise. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. And Vice Chair King is not John, present, but she will be here shortly. She'll, yes. Okay. Um, are there any public comments on items not on the agenda? And I myself have a public comment on an item not on the agenda, but I'll check and see if there's anyone else. I'll let them go first. Okay. I hear um, resounding crickets, so yeah, I would like control. to welcome John, Dana. The chair. Uh, Lucy, yeah, turn, try turning Lucy, your could you up. please mute you if you're not here. speaking? It's on the Thank you. Um, one more time, I'd like to welcome Dana, who was appointed to our commission on Tuesday. And she will be joining us, I believe, next meeting in April after she is sworn in. Is that correct, John? Mm -hmm. I think John is saying yes. yes. Oh, come on. Yes. yes. Right. Says you. Lucy, Lucy, please, please mute yourself. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead. And uh, do we have any other items that are not on the agenda from the public? Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at the meeting minutes from our last meeting way back February 24th, 2022. I hope everybody's had a chance to read the meeting minutes. Um, I have one comment on the meeting minutes and I don't know, um, John, I'll, I'll give the comment and you'll tell me if, if it's a relevant comment or not. My one comment is on item four, which was Midnight Stomp series discussing it. I went back and watched part of the meeting from 9-30-2021 and there was a five to zero um, vote to have staff ask uh, the artist to contact the artist and try and renew the, um, the loan period. So I just wanted to make note of that. Okay. Um, does anyone wanna make a motion to either accept or have another comment on the meeting minutes from the last meeting? I'll move to accept the meeting minutes from January 27th, 2020, or sorry. February, February. February 20th, 2022. February 24th. Oh, you're right. It does say 24. I'll second. All right. I will do a roll call vote. Uh, Chair Waldman. Yes. Commissioner Corrigan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Yes, please. Commissioner Jan Jigian? Lucy? Lucy? You're on mute. You can unmute. Hey, just give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, we'll come back. Commissioner Moore? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, um, motion passes. We'll call it four to zero with uh, Commissioner Janjigian abstaining and uh, Vice Chair King absent. 
Okay. And then I have made an error and John will let me know if I am still allowed to move an agenda item at this time. Um, to rearrange the agenda? Yes. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I would like to move agenda item number six, which is discuss the everybody is an artist event, because I think we're going to get some really good news from that after item two. So making item six, make it the new item three. And I don't think we have to vote on that, do we? John? No, no, you don't. Sorry. Okay. okay. I've just never moved an agenda item before, so I wasn't sure how we uh, how we dot the I's and cross the T's. All right, I'm going to move on to item number two, which is receive an update from the Community Center Art Subcommittee and select entries from our Where I'm From exhibit. Um, when we have calls for art, it's one of the really fun times for this commission because we get to look at things either from the community or outside the community and decide what we want to display in our community. So it's usually a, a pretty fun time. So I'm just gonna give a, a brief update on the community center um, art subcommittees tasks that we've done before we get into looking at the art from our call for art. Um, the first is we uh, ordered some lettering for our community center art gallery. And thanks to John, we uh, were able to put it up on Monday. So yay, John. He did not know when he took this job that that was one of his job uh, <laughs> tasks he was going to do. Um, way back when, when uh, we were deciding on the murals that we were going to put up in the community center, Linda Gass, who is a well-known local artist, she presented to the Public Arts Commission and told us uh, the story behind the murals that she wanted to develop. And it was, um, it was an amazing uh, discussion. And we discussed possibly having her do a video of the uh, presentation so they could play in the community center so people could understand the background behind the murals. And at that time, uh, the commission, I think we approved $5,000 to go into creating the video. Um, it turns out we don't actually need to buy iPads or any kind of hardware. There's a TV in one side of the community center and we got approval from uh, Parks and Rec to use that. So Linda is still in the process of creating a bid. She sent me an email, she's still working on it. And I told her when she has it ready, she should come and present to us. So um, Mute is we have a lot of new newer members who um, are not familiar with the background on the, uh, the murals. Um, and um, we, I guess we'll discuss the, the tower after we do the call for art. And just wanted to mention that the current show that is currently up in the community center, where the thought was to go ahead and move it to the South Senior Center. And it looks like they have space and there we can bang nails into walls. So we'll get a hold of Parks and Rec after the fact, after we take the current show down and put the new show up. So with that, um, preparing just a little background for the entries from where I'm from. We have one wall in the community center. I hope everybody's gotten a chance to actually see the wall. It's in two sections. One section is 16 feet, three and a quarter inches. The other is 18 feet and three and a quarter inches. And right now we have seven pictures hanging from the 16 foot section and eight pictures hanging in the 18 foot section for a total of 15 pieces on the wall. And with that, I hope John has enough uh, internet that he can uh, display the entries. So John. I'm gonna give go it a go. Okay, let's, let's hope uh, technology works. Okay, are you seeing my screen? Yes, uh, yes. it's trying, okay. hang on. Good. Yeah. Yes, we can see it. Yes. Great. Um, so these are, and these are all in the the packet, um, and it's right. in yep. in the same order that um, we have uh, that I have them here. And we have a total of, I believe, fourteen or thirteen of them, John. Do you know? 
Um, yes, it's um, four, five, six, seven. I did not actually eight, print them all out to save my printer. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we have 12. 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, we can put Hillary has joined us. Um, so we can actually space them a little ways apart. Hillary, we're just starting to go through the call for art. Okay. Okay. So we got here just in time. And I reminded everyone that we have two sections of walls. One is 16 feet. One is 18 feet. We currently have seven pieces on one side, eight on the other for a total of 15, and we got 12 entries. So we can split things, add a little space in between. If, if we can accept every one of the pieces, none of the pieces, or some of the pieces. Um, John, could you, uh, without reading the name of the person who created the piece, could you read a little bit of the background that they wrote in with each piece? Sure. So the first piece is titled San Francisco House in Blue. Um, and the description spent my first summer in San Francisco in this Victorian house, upstairs tiny room near Fell Street in the Golden Gate Park Panhandle. So my thought is we could do a vote for each piece. And I'll and I'll let John um, call for each uh, each piece, if that's okay, John. And um, then, um, we'll sure. Vote what if if, like if if I might um, offer a, um, some some suggestion on on how to make it a little more efficient? Okay. Um, if we do one vote at the end. Um, okay. accepting the pieces and what I might suggest on on as we go through is see if anyone who uh, feels a piece should not be included um, and then maybe have discussion that way that might make things a little more efficient than doing that, a that roll call we vote get done each before piece. 10 o'clock tonight okay <laughs> can you go on to the next one John okay um, the, the next one is by the same artist and it's San Francisco how uh, San Francisco houses in pink um, same description of this piece looks like they did a little bit of needle point there mm. okay next one please okay um, the next piece is titled American um, Description is, this is a painting that is def definitely influenced by growing up in Connecticut. We were received in American colonial history in every grade from elementary to high school. Many of my paintings seem to gravitate not only to New, e New England, but also from the seemingly peaceful times of growing up in the 50s. Today, we are much more aware of the world around us. The American flags no longer represents, uh, the American flag no longer represents what it did to me as a child of my era. And the artist is uh, Jan Meyer. Make mm, it a little cute. smaller so you can see the whole thing. I think the chair had suggested not giving the names of the artists as we go oh, through. Yeah, uh, Jan is actually well known in the city, but yeah, let's let's leave that out of there. But you can actually see her signature at the bottom. So. Yeah. Okay, John. Okay. You want the next yeah, one? Some of the artists have signed their pieces. Uh, the next one is titled Golden Leaves. Uh, the description is Golden Leaves is painted with palette knife and acrylic paint. It is inspired by the birch trees, golden leaves, and reminds me of fall in Sweden, where I was born. The blue and gold color are also a tribute to where I am from, both being typical colors. Of the crisp Scandinavian nature, and because blue, yellow, and blue is the colors of the Swedish national flag. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you okay. take the colors? Okay. I think she um, has. Three. I think I don't know. Okay. Just, Lucy, uh, Lucy, Lucy, if you're having a conversation off camera, could you could you mute, please? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. John, could you go back and? Yep. 
I will. Sorry. Sure. Okay. Seeing it again. I'm sorry. Are you seeing the screen again? Oh, it, it, it's it's ball. It's buffering. It's there. Okay. I apologize. I'm I'm hopeful once I close this uh, tab from the internet that it'll free up some of the bandwidth. I got it, John. It's up on my face. Terry has a color printer. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy of my money I spend at Cobalt Banker. <laughs> <laughs> I have three printers. None of them print in color. <laughs> yeah, I think you're. I think you're the only commissioner who does. <laughs> That's we, okay. we live in the middle of, of Tech Central, and I don't have a color print. Yeah, but wait till you see whatever I, what what else I'm going to do today. You'll laugh. Uh oh. Uh, maybe we should have Terry go ahead and show the next. Yeah, one. I have them all printed. Is I it, have them all printed out. Is my okay. screen still not sharing? It's, it's still, still not. not it's really bally. Yeah, it's still having trouble, John. I I apologize. I was working. Okay, John earlier um, and it happens internet's city decided staff, it's done city staff uh um uh, uh stand in ms couture could you show the next picture please uh so we're done with this one yes, yes. and that was by the same artist as the last one but um and this one's darling <laughs> that one it? is darling yeah. yes oh. And I, I'm going to be kind to Terry and not ask her to read the um, I, I got it all. the description because uh, I, 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 I got it. read them in I the... I was born in oh. Nafar Meshen, a kibbutz in central Israel, where I grew up during the 70s and 80s. Back then, children in the kibbutz were raised in a communal children's house where they ate, bathed, slept, played, and studied with the other kids from the same age group. As a natural outcome, the principle of equality, which was a substantial part of the kibbutz communal life and ideology, children in the kibbutz received all their needs from the kibbutz. Everyone got the same share of everything. We all got the same shoes, same pajamas, same towels, same clothing, same watches and bicycles. But they didn't get the same shirts. <laughs> That, that is a good observation. <laughs> they okay. didn't get the same haircut either. No, that's true. Okay. There's another cute one. So this one says, um, it's called Cup of Tea in Istanbul. Istanbul. Turkish tea and cement overlooking forest and the infamous maiden tower in is in she spelled in istam insta instable wrong so that's why i'm having a tough time with it Istanbul. we we can correct it if uh, we yeah. choose to hang it and, and yeah. we'll, we can correct it yeah. okay. okay next The dance of the one oh called um, Turkish art of marbling the dance of colors on water. The dance of vivid colors and colorful patterns creates art of marbling, which clearly represents Turkey V in the 13th century. The first forms of Ebru emerged in Central Asia and spread to Anatolia through marbling oh through throughout, I guess. Marbling is technically an art of decoration, which is made by passing patterns and shapes created with especially prepared paints or paper through condensed water. Hmm. I think this goes this way. I'm going to get my glasses on for this one. I can't read it. Yeah, I think it did go that way. The image, oh, it's called... A Heinemann's connection to her Sorier. The image often appears when I meditate, where you find yourself merging with much wider, bigger space. I truly believe that each of us 
is a star just landing in this world of duality. I dedicate this to ancient modern sages such as Hei Ning and Ramana Marasa. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know I was going to read all this, so I didn't phone up. <laughs> This one is called from L-O-D-H-I to L-O-D-I. I have traveled from my hometown in Delhi, India to the Bay Area, USA. I remembered one morning as a teen in the garden of a historic monument, the Lode High Tomb, watching the sun stream through the trees of the Gu Mahar tree inspiring me to move on with my life and seize the future near Lodi in California. This one's called The Best of Both Worlds. So cute. It's so darling. <laughs> I was born in Taiwan, yet raised in the Bay Area. I love California's beaches, Taiwanese food, and butterflies. I drew the monarch butterfly of California and the purple crow butterfly of Taiwan. Since they're special migration butterflies, I learn about the best of both worlds of where I'm from. So cute. I like the boba tea. Yeah. <laughs> this one's appropriate. It says, a sunny day in Grant Park with Monte. I am five years old. My favorite activity is running 5Ks with Monty, a tiger from my school, Montclair Elementary School. Oh, yeah. Who knew Montclair had a tiger? Yeah, that's our mascot. Genitive, yeah. Come on. And I didn't it. know we were zoned for tigers. <laughs> that's it. That's all of them. All right. So if, if I may speak for Hillary and she can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I, Hillary was the one who came up with the idea for this show or, or the, and I think we got a wide variety of ages and backgrounds and ideas of what uh, the theme was. So I think that's really fantastic. Um, I'm going to put it out there that um, we, um, Accept all of them, and unless there's some one, there's one that somebody feels is not appropriate, I'll, I'll call on Janet. So, uh, thank you, Madam Chair Waldman. So, uh, the, I just looked at these um, in terms of what the assignment was, where I'm from, and there were two that I didn't think met the assignment. The one was uh, the first was the one about meditation. I'll show you this one. Um, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't see it. Okay, well, sorry. Um, the meditation yeah. one. And then the it's second one was the, um, was beautiful, but the answer, the vivid colors from Turkey. I mean, it's it's more about Turkish art. I, I mean, it, it's not offensive, but I um, I just thought both of those did not meet the objective. Everything else I thought was great. Well, I, I would say the first one did. I mean, we, we did ask people, it can be metaphorically, it can be cosmically, it doesn't have to be a literal interpretation. So okay. for me, I kind of like that there is that one that's not literal. It's very abstract. So I kind of like that one. I agree about the Turkish papers, but I'm kind of like, well, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, let's hear some other people though about those two. Um, agree. For, for, for being the devil's advocate, um, English may not be her first language, and so she may come from Taiwan or China or something, and I know they do meditate a lot, so, you know, maybe the explanation wasn't so good, because um, she did write it. She didn't type it, so I don't know. I kind of like it, but I, I'm I'm for all of them, just because I think art is so personal. Everybody's different about art. And, and, I, and Janet, I, I agree with you that it, some of the interpretations might be different from how I would have interpreted the, the assignment. I'll call it an assignment or the 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 cube. But um, I think that's what we wanted is we wanted to see everybody's interpretation. That, that makes perfect sense to me. I just was, you know, I'm new and was going by the literal words of the assignment. So it makes perfect sense to accept all of them. Okay. 
The other thing I think is as we get better at this, asking the public to do things, I think we can be more critical, but I think this is our first shot at it. And if we don't have a lot of pictures and, and we yeah. don't accept somebody, I think it, 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 I mean, if we would have had 33 of them, then we would have had a tougher time. That's just exactly. kind of how I yeah. feel about then, it. Then you can kind of get down to how close do they adhere to the theme or the call of the show. Um, I, I agree with that, but we don't, we have the room. I think it does show the diversity of our community and the yeah, diversity of really. what, um, what, where I'm from means. And to some people that does mean, you know, that, so. Mm -hmm. And I think also, besides the diversity in the community, it shows diversity in art and means of expression, that you can express yourself. And it's beautiful. We have all kinds of uh, expression. So I think, uh, I, think we have a, we're, I think we're very fortunate we got these different kinds of expressions. And, and piggybacking off what Hillary said, when we originally envisioned the community center art gallery, we did not know that we would have a community center that was not being widely used by the time we had our first real call for art from the community. So getting the word out was tough. And also it's hard to convince people, put your artwork up in somewhere where not a lot of people may see it. But I believe the community center is going to be more utilized as we go forward. So um, I think we will hopefully get to the point where we have 33 or 40 entries and we have to be a little more critical. Where will we publicize this art show? Where will it be publicized? Um, well, that's up to the subcommittee and you're part of the subcommittee. So we'll have to come up with a plan. Probably we'll ask the town crier and um, ask the city to, you know, and the city manager's weekly update to, to send information out to the public. We'll, we'll put it on the social media account we don't have, so. Exactly. Uh, I'm, also wondering, very I'm good. also wondering if we could have, uh, you know, make a poster and have it in different parts of the city or in restaurants or. Um, well, that would be that would be a conversation for the subcommittee. So we'd probably go ahead and, and table that for now and have the subcommittee. Decide. Okay, just an idea. Uh, let's go ahead and take a vote. Um, it sounds. I move that we accept all the art. I second. I second. Okay, John, you want to take a vote? John. Yes. Um, Commissioner Corgan. Yes. Commissioner Couture. Yes. Commissioner Janjigian. Yes. Commissioner Moore. Yes. Vice Chair King. Yes. And Chair Waldman. Yes. And go ahead, John. Motion passes unanimously. Um, so the subcommittee will. I'll send out an email, and we'll figure out. Um, John, do you want to send the email to everybody who submitted an entry? make sure that everything is already framed and ask them to get it to us, um, get it to uh, the community center by, let's say, April 1st is a Friday, if I remember, maybe April 4th, and then we'll figure out um, hanging and getting the labels and, and the subcommittee will take that offline. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's go on to agenda item now, number three. Oh, uh, yes? Before before we move oh, off we of item T2. two, yeah. Um, so as indicated in the staff report, um, I did reach out to the artist about uh, modifying the term of the loan period um, because if you'll remember, we had you know, we were trying to schedule the installation and um, ended up cutting off about five or six months of the two year loan period. Um, the artist is very interested in, or is very willing to, ex to, to modify it so that it is there for the full two years. Um, out of curiosity, I asked what a purchase price might be. Um, and as indicated in the staff report, he's uh, willing to sell it to the city for 15,000 uh, plus tax. Um, that is less than what he would charge um, normally for this for the similar type of piece. This is for Midnight Stomp, correct? 
No, this is for the tower, the T2, the oh, no. okay. the one in front of the community center. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yep. Do we know if, um, well, since we have it on loan for, I think it's another year and a half-ish, um, we may not want to just spend the, the 15000 right now. Do you, um, John, do you feel that he would be willing to let it the loan period finish with the uh, hope that we would buy it or does he seem to want to close the sale as soon as possible um i think the former i don't i did not get the the sense that he's you know anxious to close a sale or anything like that of course you know as not being an artist i can't speak for artists but i think most artists are often interested in selling quicker um but i did not get that sense from him Okay. Is I I would be inclined to go ahead and and buy it now. Are you just not wanting to spend the money now? The you don't want the committee to spend the money now if we can put it off. I mean, what if he raises his price? <laughs> yeah, he he could optionally raise the price, or at the end of the loan, say I'm coming and taking it back. You didn't. You know, someone else bought it. So yeah. I'm with Hillary. I think that piece is very nice where it is, and I think it's a good statement of you know, Los Altos nature. And I think it's a beautiful piece. So I, I you know, it, that's kind of how I feel about it. Do is in a situation like this, do we ever, you know, want to know what the public thinks of it before we make a purchase? We could. I mean, our, we have, our job we have is it kind of to advise. So. Put it on the agenda for next month and ask um, for the public's input. Um, I, you're going to be we we get, in, get into a conversation about what does public art cost and what is a, because a lot of people may not realize that's a pretty good price for a large sculpture. Right. Some people like might, that. I'm not going to spend oh, yeah. that much money. Whereas that's a very typical price for, I think that's right. Mike, a very typical price. So if we, if we do take it out of the public, I think you may just have to be they may say no it's too much and then why are we spending any money on public art so i don't know I'm, I'm a little wary of that i mean our job as the council is to advise on this that's kind of our role and and, and it is already there so yeah. um well and the metal alone is probably 10k <laughs> john no. if if we asked um i don't think we can take a vote to actually make a purchase because it's not on the agenda could we put it on the agenda for the next meeting yeah and and one of the things i was going to actually suggest um, is later on in the the meeting today we're going to talk about potential recommendations for uh next year's budget um and that may be something that uh we want to include in that recommendation and so um I was I would suggest if if there is interest in discussing, perhaps we discuss as part of that item um, okay. wh whether to include it or not um, and see sort of how the discussion goes from there. OK, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Um, I will add one other little piece, though I don't know that I need to. Um, I did ask the director of, of uh, our recreation department what she thought about the city potentially uh, purchasing it and she is supportive okay. of that idea. Thank you. Um, and, and I'd asked you to do that. And I'm, I'm glad she, when it was installed, she joked that she would love for us to buy it, but I'm glad you double checked. Okay. We're going to take what was item six and we're going to make it item three now. Um, our community art engagement project. Everybody is an artist. Before we start discussing it, are there any public comments? Resounding silence. I'm going to let the subcommittee take it away. I think they've got some really good news and um, I look forward to hearing about it. Janet Hillary, or- Hillary, did or you want Hillary? to talk? Yeah, I'm ready to talk. Do we have any slides to- yeah. Yeah. I, Jenny, I'm, can you put up some slides. I'll go over. Yep. I, I'm I'm working on getting it called up right okay. now. So the event took place last Saturday at the community center. Um, this is uh, obviously, as everyone knows, something that's been in the works for a while. We'd hope to do it earlier. We got pushed back. Um, initially, we had kind of a low <laughs> sign up, but uh, the subcommittee really put their nose to the grindstone and ended up basically having a sold out event. 
Um, they had, I think, 25 participants of all ages. There was even a, a second date. There was a mother-daughter pairing, I believe, um, and some um, younger folks as well. So it just, and it also at least two city council members, correct, or three? Three. Three. By the way, I can present the slides. John, do you want me to give it a shot? Uh, sure. I was just going to try it, but if you want to. Oh, sure. I mean, it, whatever you want is fine. Just let me know. I'm, I can be a backup. So great let turnout. Me... Okay. There we go. It's coming. A great turnout, and it sounds like a great time. Jenna put together some wonderful food and snacks, which everybody enjoyed. Um, just a really successful event, so hats off to um, Jenna and Janet. They actually had to give up their painting spots so people could paint, and everybody had a great time, and we got great feedback, which I'll let one of the other um, subcommittee members talk about. I think you can go to the next slide. Okay. You are seeing the slides? Yes. yes. Excellent. Why don't you go to the next one? There's everybody with their paintings. There's some more pictures of it. And there's Jenna's beautiful food. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, did you how want to talk about that? How long did the um, uh, event actually go for? Um, we had a two hour time slot. Um, but I mean, no one was rushing to leave. You know, they, they very casually left, probably a little even after three. We had the space from one to three. Um, and it was just a perfect afternoon. It was raining, so it was very cozy. I think people felt really comfortable. They were chatting. What else was really neat is that um, it's, a, it's a tutorial, but everyone took creative license to create their own interpretation. Um, some people painted in like their dog. Other people changed the landscape a little bit. So overall, I think everyone had a lot of fun and really enjoyed it. And it was actually a multi-generational, um, there were three generations that came. There was a grandmother, her daughter, and her daughter. And that was really neat to see. Um, and then there were some teenagers, um, some seniors, and it was a great mix. People. Did you um, quiz the applicants on how they heard about it? We did. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah. You want to go to the next slide, John? The only thing I'll add for this, that slide before is that um, if you look at the painting on the um, bottom, if you look at the bottom right, it's the yellow or, or sorry, yeah, yellow and blue heart. And the so, Ukrainian uh, heart. Yeah. One of the um painters wanted to auction that off and, and i think that this may have been the first time that this art room has been used but it's a fantastic venue so, yes um, so yeah we can go to the next slide so to answer terry's question we did uh conduct a survey and i mean i've done surveys like this before this was kind of mind-blowing um 23 of the 25 painters responded that they strongly agree that they had a nice time they enjoyed their experience um next slide um, you, you'll recall back in December that this was kind of the goal of the event to basically facilitate a community art engagement activity that promoted visual art appreciation, inspired Los Altos residents, and showed everyone that they could be an artist and enjoy our new community center. And again, 100% of the 23 people who filled out the survey strongly agreed that we met that goal. Next slide. Um, and then, of course, everybody wanted, wants to see more of these types of community art engagement events. And, and you know, Jenna and I were there, and there were three city council members there, and they kept hearing from everybody that <laughs> they want more of this stuff, which was very gratifying. Um, and then next slide, please. And then here are some of the suggestions that we received. Um, Jenna, do you want to talk about this? Sure. Um Let's see, so um, a couple of things, people really liked the painting. Um, so we suggest, we threw out the idea of having like an evening painting and maybe we could look into getting a liquor license so we could do like a wine and painting <laughs> sort of thing. I don't know if that's completely off limits, um, but people were very interested in it, including one council member, I won't name names. Um, and um, we were also talking about having an event for kids, maybe at Grant Park, 
which involves painting river rocks that they can then bring home and put in their gardens. Um, and let's see what else. And yeah, also one, going to South one, Los um, the one thing that I did want to bring attention to, and I don't know if there's any way that we can improve on this, but was the registration. I know that the method was a little bit convoluted. It was a little, I mean, I even struggled with it a little bit. I, I wanted to see what it would be like if I just searched for the event in Google and then went through that process. And um, so I don't know if there's any room for improving that, but I think that was really the only negative feedback that I received. And, it, you know, it wasn't that strong people. It, it obviously didn't deter people enough. They, Drops. And and that might be feedback for Park and Rec if we do this again or, or similar, you know, if we need their okay. piggyback off their registration system. Okay. It's just that it was under like there were so many different like subheadings. Um that it, it was it wasn't like very clearly one of the highlighted events. And it also I don't think it appeared on our website as one of the events. So maybe next time we'll make sure it gets on there. Okay. The next slide. And um, to answer Terry's question, um, so we did a full court press on next door and that, as you can see from the responses is probably where most people heard about this, although they also heard from the flyers that Jenna and Hillary posted all over town. <laughs> so, um, and uh, so, so it worked well. And we actually um, were able to get a mention in the city managers weekly, which was fantastic. And, and the bottom line is that, you know, we, um, we oversold the event. So it was great. Next slide. Um, so this is kind of an estimate. John and I are still working together on the final um, the final numbers, but this is, gives you a rough idea of what the cost was. We we charge people fifteen dollars, and uh, it's normally thirty eight dollars. I mean, um, so maybe that's because of the popularity. Maybe if we do this again, we can charge more money. But but it shows you that it's relatively pretty and expensive to do this, and and really good bang for the buck. Next slide. Oh, just to, sorry. Can I piggyback off that really quickly, Janet? I wanted to mention too that. Janet and I donated everything outside of what was provided by the, the artist. So, I mean, Janet brought cleaning supplies and, and um, we brought napkins and tablecloths and then I provided the food. So that wasn't included in the, in and, the cost. And I think if we, if we do this again, we should budget for that so, you, so it's not out of I agree. for you guys. Okay, okay. I mean, I was happy to donate, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, they're the best appetizers I've ever seen, so. Jenna's a, a, an entertainer, <laughs> so oh. really great. People, people, in fact, somebody arrived and they thought that we were painting her appetizers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> food is people. my love language, so. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, that's, that's for you to eat, so next step. Um, or next slide, so, so I guess we, we're, um, we want to know if you want the subcommittee to go back and like take the feedback that we've gotten, the the learning experiences that we pulled out of this, and maybe come back to you with a proposal. Should we, what should we do if anything? And you know, just come back to you further. Um, so that's um, that's their question to you. And, and before we go to that question, I wanted to go to the last slide, um, which is to just thank everybody. We could not have done this without John, who was behind the scenes dealing with me and dealing with Paint the Town. I mean, fantastic. I mean, without him, there was no budget, there was no money, we would not have done this. Casey Richardson gave up her Saturday uh, to handle the registrations. Um, and then Sonia, um, I think I spelled her name wrong, so sorry about that. Um, uh, she um, she got us into the city um, managers weekly, which was, of course, of course, great. And then the residents who were super positive and supportive. So uh, that's all I have to say. Jenna or Hillary, anything you want to add? No, I just, I think it went off even better than we anticipated. I'm just so happy that it did because we were a little worried at first and it was great. Um, and, and I'll speak as someone who wasn't there. Um, I think it would be awesome to have the subcommittee come back maybe to, at the next meeting if that's appropriate and with a plan or an idea of, you know, how often to do this or maybe do one for just kids or one for this or one for that. Um, it seems like th there's definitely a need. My only 
caveat is, um, and maybe John can speak to this or tell me it's not a caveat, is just to make sure we don't step on the toes of Parks and Rec that because they do offer mm -hmm. classes. Well, I, I get a little, it's funny to me because I live near Rancho Shopping Center and wine and design is right there. And maybe it's because we offered it at such a lower cost, but it's it's fascinating to me that we got this turnout and this positive feedback and there's a place that offers it every night, you know, within, you know, shouting distance. And I, I worry about stepping on their toes too. Um, well, but I I do you think this study has a lot of ideas. So you know what I found really interesting though. Um, so I was responsible for posting flyers at Rancho, and I put them in vacant. I ran it by the property manager, but I put them in vacant spaces and Andronicos and whichever uh, tenants had um, boards in their space. But I noticed that Wine and Design had one of our flyers in their window, and I didn't put oh, it there. Okay. So uh, I, I thought that was really neat. Cool. That they were that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we use them next time if we do this again, but um, but it's interesting. But I do think we can have, I mean, the rock paint, the stone idea is a good one. So we can we can come back with a lot. I think doing something in South Los Altos is a good idea too. So. Okay, and just to remind everyone, I had reached out to Wine and Design several times and yeah. I got added to their, their advertising list, <laughs> but I never got a response from them. So I did try to reach out to someone yeah. local to, yeah. and never heard back from them. Well, that's a lesson in itself, too. So, and and then one warning to the subcommittee is, um, like, if you think that we should do it once a quarter, once a month, once a week, remember we're just volunteers and and yep. requires work on on all of our parts. So you know yes. you don't want to do it too often um, and burn yourself out. Agreed. Very good point. Okay. Um, I, I think our subcommittee is going to go off. If, if it's okay for me to say that I think that's the right direction. If anybody has a comment otherwise, um, please speak up. But I, I think it's it's all goodness. And um, definitely, um, if John, if you could make an agenda item on the for the next agenda that um, the subcommittee is going to come back with hopefully some really awesome ideas. Yep. Okay, perfect. And again, congratulations. Yay. Yay. Um, okay, on to midnight discussion, discussing the status of Midnight Stomp. Um, before we discuss it, um, does the public have any comments about Midnight Stomp? Going once, going twice. Stomp that one out. Um, John, do you have an update on Midnight Stomp? Yeah, I, I actually do. So I I, um, I had reached out to the artist um, based on the direction at the last meeting um, to see about extending the loan period um, and had a conversation with the artist's uh, manager um, about it. Um, they are interested. They did have some questions questions, um, namely, um, if there is an additional stipend for extending the loan period. Um, one of the questions or reasoning behind it was the, the, the pieces have been in the city since 2014. Um, they received the original stipend, um, but haven't received one since. Um, and so wondering if that was an option. Um, they her the manager also mentioned um potentially selling the pieces to the city um this had come up actually a few years ago prior to um any of the public art funds coming in um the pieces sell for fifteen thousand dollars each um, they are willing to sell all three for thirty thousand um so a, a discount of what would essentially be one of the pieces um for free. They're also willing to do a sort of a, a pay over, um, you know, three or four years. So, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be an upfront cost. Um, but that is the conversation. The other, the other item that was, that she brought up was um, apparently somebody had reached out to her uh, last year and asked if um, we decide, you know, if they stayed, if we decided to move them to another location, would that be okay with them? And they are okay with that. Um, and I think that is all that I have to report. 
So that would have been Nancy. I know she reached out to yeah. uh, the manager, the, the artist manager. And um, I think at that time was also quoted either either 30 or 35,000 for the two, uh, two for three essentially. But um, I know I'll, I'll say I, I love the pieces. I don't think they're in the best spot. Um, and I, I would not be opposed to us buying them. Um, I know um, the previous configuration of the commission had said um, no second stipends. That was our general rule. And Hillary's nodding her head. Um, and I'm hesitant to give another stipend because that sets a precedent. Um, but I'm I'm all ears if anyone has an opinion. I mean, I kind of like them. I, I I like them. I think I actually think they're in a good spot. Um, and I because if we took them out, then there that we'd have that big kind of mass of Safeway, yeah. and and I feel like it softens that and it kind of makes that area less um, canyony, if that makes sense. Um, I don't. I mean, I refer to you on a 30, whether thirty k is the appropriate number. I I don't know. Um, She's a, a known artist and she has pieces at Stanford and, and other places as well. Um, I, um, if John had better internet access, you could probably bring up the web, her website. Um, I'm, I'm interested in possibly buying the pieces and even the, the, the um, pay and installment plan sounds even better. Yeah. <laughs> I would like I would say if we buy them, do it on the installment plan. I think would go down more easily. So yeah, maybe like ten k for over three years or or something. That might be reasonable. They do seem like a fixture down there now. I mean, it's hard to mm -hmm. imagine that spot without them. And it kind of, in some ways, it kind of mirrors to me all the teens that hang out there. <laughs> <laughs> and Janet, I, I think you have a really good point that even though I feel like they they might be showcased better elsewhere that whole like look straight through the parking lot it does break up that mm -hmm. section of town i know people who walk that section of town like them there so um what would we like to tell john to tell the artist i mean we're not probably interested in another stipend um i don't know how willing the artist would be to renew it for two years without a promise of, of possible purchase well, do we want to vote on it if we want to buy it or then do the installment plan? So should we make a motion then or? John, would that be okay at this time? If we're going to do it, could we do it over five years instead of three years? That's a good move, Terry. Can we so, put an option? I mean, especially if we're going to try to buy that other piece, the community center piece. Right. Yeah. Can we also put... Um, in writing like an option um, in the renewal so that we lock down the price. You know, an option to, to purchase that what was it, 30? Over five years. Yeah. I think we should just do a a a, a, a purchase option a, a contract of sale, pay, yeah. you know, maybe um, let's say let's say we get it for twenty five thousand, five thousand dollars a year. Try it and see what happens. The worst thing he can do is say no, right? John, do you think mm -hmm. the artist might budge and go a little bit lower? I don't know. Um, she I'd have to go might. look at her, her website and see what her other prices have been. But she might also say, you know, we've already come down $15,000. Has she factored in depreciation? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Well, maybe. Um, but what I, I was going to suggest, she's, oh. I, I believe she's got this. Is th there's other versions of this elsewhere, so she could be basing the price on that. We we haven't done our our homework yet, so we don't know. Are they in pretty good shape? I'm looking at pictures of them online. I haven't really seen them very much up close yeah they're in pretty good shape i okay. i did that inspection they're they they just need a good cleaning that's it 
I, I kind of like Terry's idea. Why not kind of put that out to her and say 25 over five years, we're public commission, yada, yada. And she comes back and says, no, say, okay, we'll do it for 30 at three years. No, we could, he could say, okay, if you won't, then I got to go back to the commission again. Okay. And you got to come get your truck. Yeah, come let's, let's, let, maybe <laughs> let's, let's, let's your us again. Right. Let's try and get um, somebody offered me 25 as opposed to 30 for five years. I'd go sold. I'm yeah, an artist, and she doesn't have money. to come and, and take she it away. Come get him, and yeah, she's she's got to come and get him, and then she's got to go find another place for him. And she's not on the meeting, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I will say that as an artist, a lot of times when people underbid, it, it, it can come back as insulting. But um, why not try? Because we've already got them. So it'd be one less, one less trip. Monica, or Chair, Monica, Chair Waldman. Um, yeah. Uh, if we, um, I mean, if we said, you know, we love the pieces, but we're really budget minded, and you know, we've got a lot of you know, um, other sculptures we have to worry about, and and but we love your work. I wouldn't want. say you're. I wouldn't say you have other sculptures you have to worry about. I would just say we're okay. budget no, minded, and we have a city council minded. that okay. has a lot of expenses coming up, and that's we're a, very that's cognizant of that. I agree. I agree. Good point. Does anybody Go want on. to make a motion for midnight stomp? I'll make a motion that we go back and talk to that. John Maginot goes back and talks to the artist mm -hmm. and asks if we can. Purchase the Midnight Stomp series um, for $25,000 and the contract of sale. We give him five per $5,000 now and then another $5,000 in 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. Is that right? That's awesome. I second that motion. Sold. No. <laughs> Congratulations, Hillary. <laughs> John, do you want to take a vote? Yep. Uh, Commissioner Corgan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Yes. Commissioner Janjigian? Yes. Commissioner Moore? Yes. Vice Chair King? Yes. And Chair Waldman? Yes. Passes unanimously. Um, yeah. Chair, Anita E. Nander here. I don't know who has noise on in their back in the background. Um, I'm guessing it's um, Commissioner Jinjigian, but there's breakthrough noise that's quite distracting, and it, it sounds sometimes like talking, sometimes like a little bit of music. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Um, was... one, one option is for everybody to keep muted unless you're going to speak, but that assumes that you know how to talent. You're talented at muting and unmuting yourselves, and that's takes I've learned over time a little bit of practice. <laughs> let, let me ask. Sorry, to, uh, Anita. I'm going to ask one more question uh, about Midnight Sump, and I don't mean to uh, diminish the the mute and unmute um, conversation. Um, John, are are we as a commission allowed to vote and on something like this and make the purchase, or does it have to go through city council? It would go to th the through the city council. Okay, so if you come back to us next month and say the artist is is willing to do that, then it gets on to the city council's um, agenda and they vote on it. Correct. Yes. Okay. And as we'll as we'll talk when we uh, get to the budget item, budget recommendation item, um, of course we would include this as part of the recommendation, um, as well if um, the the T two is recommended to be purchased, um, same thing. It would go to the city council uh, as part of the budget, but then also a separate item actually approving the purchase of the piece. And, and just for reference, any piece that our commission wants to purchase, we need to go through city council or is there a, um, I think, is there a dollar amount where it doesn't have to go to city council? I think I would, I would have to double check, but I think any per piece that the city is going to purchase would have to be approved by the city council. Okay. Cause I know John, I, was, I, did not get, I think there's a council. specific, John, I think there's a specific limit because it's public art. 
My my recollection is that it's anything over ten thousand, but it would be well to check that exact policy. But yep. I think there's a specific policy that involves public art. Yep, and that was that was a dot or that was uh, those those policies were updated um, right before I resumed my role as liaison, and so I will admit that I have not fully memorized them yet. Okay. I'm working on it. Okay, and, and you'll let us know at the next meeting. And I, I wanted to ask because we have a lot of new members too who mm -hmm. I want them to know that just because we voted to purchase it, if the artist comes back and say says yes, that there's still an, one more step to go. Okay, let's go on to our next agenda item. Congratulations, everyone. I think we might have made a purchase. <laughs> Pending though. Um, okay, discuss the status and disposition of sculptures loaned to the city. So this is not purchases, these are loans. Before we go into it, any comments from the public? One, two, three, no. Um, a comment um, about the matrix that John sent out. Uh, Alegria is on there and Alegria is pending uh, being donated to the city. So just wanted Correct. to to make note of that. Do we have a date for uh, it being on the city council agenda? April twelfth. April twelfth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everybody, hopefully, um, it will just be on the consent calendar. It was on the consent calendar for this past Tuesday, but it got pulled. So. And that and that was entirely uh, on me. Okay. It was I. I got my wires crossed up and. Uh, it did not make the agenda the last Tuesday. Okay, but it will be next meeting. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Um, we have a, a number, sorry. Oh, we have a number of sculptures that um, the expiration date of the loans has come and gone, including there was a bunch of them on May 8th. Midnight Stomp, I'm also gonna put a little dot next to because that may be pending. Um, and the question is on some of these, do, uh, do we want to contact the artist? Has John contacted the artist and, or do we want to ask the artist to come and get them? Uh, Chair Waldman, prior yeah. to that conversation, can I comment on one of the, the pieces? Yes. Um, the sculpture titled Bird, which is at Lincoln Park. Um, the artist actually reached out to me um, and indicated, um, let me call it up really quick. Um, he uh, is interested in uh, doing some maintenance on it, um, repairs and, and fixing it up. Um, what he indicated though, was that he would need to take it uh, back to his workshop. Okay. Um, he, independent of myself, uh, suggested replacing it with another piece that he has um, that I can call up really, really quickly. Um, I think because it's not on the agenda, we couldn't make a decision, but we could, um, if there is interest, uh, put it on the agenda for the next meeting. I could let him know that we're gonna do that. Um, this is the piece that he is proposing. Um, they call it come up. It's loading. It's, it's coming. It's loading. Okay. Just give it some time. The anticipation is killing us. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll show everyone that what we what it currently is. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome for perspective. So he would put this in temporarily, and then I guess swap it back out when the other one is fixed. Um, well, I mean, that would be something that we could talk about. That's very different. That is very, very different. We always worry about those sharp angles. Yeah, I, I'm afraid yeah, to I don't whack themselves on that. I don't love that bottom angle. I could see my son getting hurt. Yeah. An and it's out. weak yeah. in part, too. So, yeah. yeah. Well, this is one that's up for <laughs> renewal or, or, or so, I mean, John, did he indicate mm -hmm. he said it needed repairs? Did he indicate like what needed repairs and for how long he would need the piece? 
Um, he did not say. Um, it, it just says it needs some work. I'd like to bring it back here at some point to do that. I could trade it out for another piece if you like. Um, and then. Um, Terry, are you looking at your well, my notes? Yes, yes. Okay. my notes say needs cleaning and maybe some metal polishing. So he probably knows more about it than me, but if it needs metal polishing, it might be that that paint, it, that metal is like deteriorating or something. That's what I put down because I don't really know. But, the, but to get back, the main point is the loan term is expiring, right? Mm -hmm. So we really need to make a decision. Do we want to keep that piece or let it go on? And I, I think I'm like, if he's going to take it, we just say, you know, the loan term is expired. Thank you. Look out. Keep an eye out for our calls for art. I don't I don't really like the new piece. And I think we just kind of let that one go. Would you be willing to let uh, let him take? renew for two years take the piece spend a month or two cleaning it up if that's what all it takes and put it back are we going to pay him a stipend or just take it no for stipend no i would not pay him a stipend um yeah I, I guess we could i mean i think we could find other things to put there but it's a nice i don't i don't mind the piece you know i'm kind of neutral on that i don't it's not, i don't love it but i don't you know i'm not mad at it so i do not like the other piece he's suggesting yeah. So, um, the I problem with the other bad. piece is at a park, I think it's just unsafe. Yeah, which we, we need to, we always keep in mind. So. I like it, but I don't like the sharp edges, especially. Yeah. And, and, and it looks like on the bottom, people are going to put their feet on there and try and climb it too. Mm -hmm. It invites, um, bad, it could possibly invite dangerous behavior. So, yeah, I guess I would say yes. Either he takes it and we kind of wrap up that loan, or if he said, or if we, or we say we will take bird back, but we do not want the other piece. We are we are concerned about safety issues for residents, so and safety of the sculpture, frankly. Yeah, that's where I would be, but definitely welcome other viewpoints. I I, I concur. I do too. Yeah, yeah. Hillary, do you? Sorry, yeah, so I'll make a call for art or call. What am I making a call for? Motion. I'm making a motion that we tell the artist either we would like to have Bird back after clean and we'll be happy to renew the loan without stipend for two years. Um, if he does not like those terms, we will, with gratitude, wrap up this loan and welcome him to future calls for art. I second the motion. John? Okay, just give me a, just a, a 30 seconds, sorry. To take trying, to, trying to take the notes. But you're not saying anything about the one he wants to give, the sharp edged one. We're gonna say it's not not appropriate for that location mm -hmm. and we are gonna take a, take a grateful pass on that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just let him know that you know, we'd, we'd love to have Bird back. Well, if the motion passes, we'd love to have Bird back um, for another two years with no stipend. Um, and if not, then he can look out for other calls for art. Um, who was the second on the, I'm sorry. Terry. I think it was Terry, right? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, Chair Waldman? Yes. Vice Chair King? Yes. Commissioner Moore? Yes. Commissioner Jan Jigian? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Yes. And Commissioner Corrigan? Janet, you were on mute. Yes. Apologies. Motion passes unanimously. All right. John, do you have any news about any of the others that have expired, including Jasper Priestess? I do not have any news about um, the the remaining. I will say of um, Jasper Priestess, Arches, Dragonfly, and Pax Nova, generally the artists for the last three, uh, Arches, Dragonfly, Pax Nova, they're usually fairly responsive. Um, I will say the artist for Jasper Priestess, I've reached out to him several times and 
uh, have never heard back from him. Um, I do believe at perhaps the last meeting or the meeting before, the commission did say regarding Dragonfly, um, we were going to let that loan expire and have the artist come uh, uh, collect the piece. Um, so that would then leave Jasper Priestess Arches and Pax Nova. How do people feel about asking all of those artists or some of those artists to come, come get their pieces? Um, Dragonfly is one in particular that I, I, I think it might be better suited somewhere else. So I'm, I'm open to that being taken. It's just hard to see. Yeah, it's hard to see in the trees now. I don't know if it's overgrown. It's at Rosita Park. Um, you can't see it at all. Yeah. If there was some uh, maintenance on the garden around it, would that help? I don't know. What do you think, Terry? I think it was like there. It was a tree. It, 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 the tree problem down. is there's too many trees around it now. They've all grown up, yeah. and um, it just gets lost in the trees. It's lost already, and the trees aren't even yeah. budded right now. When it was first installed, that was prior to. Uh, really any growth it was the the park had just been uh, redone the landscaping just barely put in and so um, it was very clear and open uh, then but now the the trees and remaining rent landscape have grown up around it yeah 2003 right it was installed uh, I think 13 yeah I mean that was nine years ago I like it I just it I mean, I, I've said to people, do you like the dragonfly at Rosita? And they don't even know it's there. Yeah. And I live here, so. Huh. So just can't see it. if by chance the artist didn't want to come and pick it up and wanted to donate it to the city, um, it sounds like people would not be opposed and they would want to move it. Oh, I'd right. love to move it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. Like Grant Park. Grant Park. Is it a good is it in pretty good shape, Terry? I'm zooming yes. in on this. Um, okay. Let me look. Uh, it, I think it is in good shape, if I remember correctly. I thought, it was gonna, I thought it was not in great shape. I thought you'd looked at it and it was not in. Well, it needs cleaning, but hang on. Let me look at my list. Guys, you're so annoying. Um, I'm looking at the edge here, and they look a little, like, tattered. But I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it needs cleaning. Okay. It okay. needs a deep cleaning. Okay. Okay. So from what I'm hearing, um, we have one, two, three, four that have expired. Um, I don't hear, well, I don't hear a resounding, we uh, need to buy these. Um, well, if they want to don't. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Go, go on, Jenna. Do you mind repeating again, aside from Jasper, Jasper Priestess and the Dragonfly, what were the, what were the other two that were expiring? So we've got Arches, we've got Dragonfly and Pax Nova. And I like Pax Nova where it is. I think it fits I well there. That'd be one where I'd be willing to reach out, reach out to the artist and say, would you mm -hmm. mind extending? Arches, I think kind of also gets lost and he has a lot of work. He always submits for calls for art. So he'll come back again. Jasper Priestess, it needs some work, so I don't think it'd be the whole thing. Yeah. What was that? Not oh, I see. That's yeah, kind of so. one of my least favorite ones. Um I, I like Pax Nova would be the one I'd I'd be have I agree. Nice. Yeah. And I'll and I know that we're having um the dog park come there, but I think we realize that's not gonna be in the dog park area. So Okay. Um, does someone want to make a motion that John reach out to the artist for Pax Nova and ask if they want to extend the loan? I make a motion that John Maginot reach out to the artist of Pax Nova and extend the loan for two years sans stipend, without stipend. I'll second that motion. John? Okay. Uh, Commissioner Corrigan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Yes. Commissioner Janjigian? Yes. Commissioner Moore? Yes. 
Vice Chair King? Yes. And Chair Waldman? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. All right, Jasper Priestess, which John had mentioned a little bit earlier that he's reached out to the artist numerous times and not gotten a response. Um, do we want to ask John, do we feel like we should ask John to reach out one more time and tell the artist that we're possibly going to look into decommissioning it if we don't hear anything? I mean, I think if he's reached out, maybe just say we are going to be decommissioning it if we don't hear. I mean, what does it well, mean you decommission it? Because, I mean, I kind of like it, actually. <laughs> I may be the only one on the commission who does. So, Paul, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's in Los Angeles, John. Um, I do not know. When he first installed it, he was based, I think, out of Berkeley. Uh, but he may have subsequently moved down there. Do you have his number 310-896-8621? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can oh, I can no. reach out to him. 310-896-8621. Terry on him. Yeah. Terry will get a hold of him. Don't Terry worry about it. Know. Yeah. Yeah. She'll find no, out where I, you live. You know, this, well, the, this the thing called is, the internet. <laughs> The question is, um, uh, I know um, we've had trouble getting hold of him in the past. Um, yeah, just because you've got a number doesn't mean they're going to answer it. It's still working. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And um, there's also the question of, uh, and I brought this up several months ago um, when we had a different configuration of the commission, that once the loan has expired, um, I assume the city takes responsibility for uh, insuring the pieces just in case somebody climbs it and falls off not necessarily not necessarily okay no uh, just because uh, a loan agreement expires um, the artist is still responsible um, for the piece um, I think the loan agreement says that the city is not going to provide any insurance for it okay um, and with public art um, there is um, there are protections should someone climb on it and fall um, because public art is not meant to be climbed on um, they're assuming the risk and liability themselves so just because the i guess it's a long-winded way of saying just because the loan expires does not necessarily mean that the city is uh, liable or on the hook for anything that may happen. With it. Okay, Monica, I'm I'm with Janet. I don't I like this. I don't mind it. Um, I'm just curious. Is there is there more to it? Is there is it just personal preference, or has it been um, has there been an issue with this? Um, there's been no issue. It's just personal preference on my. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, why don't, why don't we go around and it's do a straw poll with whether people like it or not? I mean, before we kind of are, are getting rid of it, so. Um, is that okay to do? You know, perfectly fine. Do you want to take the first vote, Hillary? Yeah, I'm pretty neutral on it. I don't. It doesn't. I'm kind of either way on it. It doesn't. I don't. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it though. I'm kind of. I can go either way. So I can be the deciding. So um, let's see, Jenna. Do you want to say you're? You like it? Um. Yeah, it, it doesn't bother me. Okay. To be Monica. Honest. Yeah, Monica's a no. Janet, how, where do you stand on Jasper Priestess? I kind of like, like it. Okay. Yeah. Terry? I also kind of like it. Okay. Lucy? Yeah. yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. All right. Well, so, voted. All right, so we're more now on, well, we haven't heard from, so we don't really need to do anything, or do we? For Jasper Priestess? Yeah. Sorry. Well, if, if the commission likes, I can reach out to him and see if he'll extend for another two years and see if I can't okay. get a hold of him. I think you should. I think we, we should dot the I's and cross the T's. Yeah. And That's what I think also needed a little bit of work, and we wanted to figure out how to work on it or what to do. Um, there was some maybe some decay, I think, in kind of some parts of it that we had some concerns about. Terry's looking at her, her matrix. Yeah. Yeah, um, the bottom 10 inches need some paint. Okay. Okay. Or coating. Whatever. Could you I, mention I that, John? 
Sorry, you two two were speaking at the same time. What was the Sorry, question? Go ahead, and so it the bottom of it needs paint. And if he if he wants if he is agreeable to keeping it, if he wants to advise on what kind of paint that might be, that would be helpful to the lifespan of the art. Okay. All right, so John will reach out. Um, Arches, as Hillary mentioned, the artist, I believe, has a number of pieces already in the city. The loans, uh, it's almost two years since the loan expired. Should we do a straw poll and, and see how people feel about that particular piece? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go first. I'm, I'm neutral on the piece and I'll pass it off. I'm looking at my, my Hollywood squares here. I'll pass it off to Jenna, who's next <laughs> under me. And which um, one is this? Which piece is this? Oh, this is Arches on Arches. State and Second. Okay. I'll see if I can pull up a picture while okay. you're talking. I have oh. a picture. Um, it personally does not speak to me, so I'm fine with it going. I also am fine with it going. I'm fine with it going. Okay. Either way, no problem. Two neutrals, yeah. Janet. I'm I'm fine with it going too. I think we could find something better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for showing it. Sure. John, could you could you reach out to the artist and see um tell them that we'd like them to uh yep. come and get it? Yep. Okay. Um Pax Nova, um I think it was Jenna who brought up the picture last time. Can you quickly sure. bring up bring us up the picture? So Pax Nova, you you guys already voted to extend oh, it right. for two Sorry. years. Sorry, yeah. it could use that dragonfly. Let's look at dragon dragonfly. Uh, did we just talk about dragonfly? We did. Okay, I got. Confused. I think we're done. Okay. But I don't think I don't think there was we, a a conclusion on dragon. There wasn't a conclusion. Okay. Oh. I, I think it's dragonfly. Hang on. There's dragonfly. Yeah. You can't if even we can see, see it. it. You can't see it. Here's what it's. All right. Post it, you know, that's oh, what you did a close up here for you, Jenna. Yeah, that's what the actual sculpture looks like, well, but it's hidden. It's, I mean, okay, yeah, yeah you can barely see it. Mm. It looks like it's part of the tree, honestly. yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I, I think we did say to remove that one, right? Yes. Okay, so I think we, we are done with this particular agenda. Item. All right, going on to the next item, discussing placement of entries for the call for art program. This goes back to the call for art from- Monica, Monica, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. For the last item, um, could we have a motion to about extending Jasper Priestess for two years? I make a motion. We ask an artist, if we, ask the artist if we can um, extend the loan without stipend for Jasper Priestess for two years. I I'll second the motion. Okay, John. Um, Commissioner Corrigan. Yes. Commissioner Couture. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Janjigian. Yes. Commissioner Moore. Yes. Vice Chair King. Yes. Chair Waldman. No. Motion passes five to one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, John. Um, Going on to discussing uh, placement of entries for the Call for Art program. This is in reference to some pieces for the Call for Art, which was on September 30th, 2021. Um, before we discuss it, let's see if there's any comments from the public. Mm, nope. All right. I think we had two items to discuss. Um, one is a uh, possible placement for Magnify and the other is uh, Matthew Duffy's two pieces, if I recall. So I'm gonna hand it off to the subcommittee who went off and looked for new spots for Magnify, which was three pieces, if I remember correctly. Right. Um, I came up with three different spots. Um, the first spot would be where the dragonfly is leaving because oh. that's very sunny oh. and oh. it's they're colorful and they would look great there at the entrance to the park that's oh. the first spot then the second spot is here here heritage oaks there's a dirt oh. area 
um, before you get to the, um, you know, the soccer field, which would mm -hmm. be very sweet. The kids would be coming in and they would see it. It's very sunny there. It wouldn't be bothered by the um, lawnmower and it wouldn't be bothered by anything. Um, and then and you, no, you, no, you no wouldn't put close to it. So that's a good spot. And then the third spot I thought was uh, Grant Park. There's a great on the west, sorry, west, west, west entrance, west, yeah, west entrance. So it's off of Newcastle. There's a path that you come in. So this is the path when you're coming in. Very drab, but I don't think you can put it there because they weed whack all those weeds. But as you get in, there's this nice path that you, that's, there's plenty of room on the ivy side for um if there's a better picture so i thought e either three of those spots would be good and jenna moore and my uh subcommittee agreed right jenna? those are great choices yeah. those are all really good choices good job subcommittee uh, are you guys seeing my screen we're it's coming at thinking okay i'm trying to pull up the grant park uh, location okay. just for those um, while it's coming up, I will remind the commission that Heritage Oaks Park, you did approve putting a piece in that dirt along Portland Avenue. Yeah. Right, but that's on Portland. That's okay. far away from where I'm talking. And okay. Don't we also have don't we also have pieces coming into Grant Park too? Yeah. Yeah, we do, but that's not anywhere near. We've got one yeah, coming well, at the fine. very entrance of the two very entrances. So for the third spot, it's the third entrance. And a lot of people come in from Newcastle on that pathway. In fact, when I was there yesterday, there were like five people sitting on the benches there, right kind of where those um, pieces would go. So you have your has, cursor. Yeah, has it come up? You're talking about right here, right? Yes. Not right there. Um, walk in like you're walking towards the. Okay, right, the, right, right there. Right not there. that side. This okay. side. The other side. Um, sorry, not that side. Uh, go to the east. Go up north. Go to the north. Oh, there up here. Up, 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 up. To the top of the corner. Park. That corner there, Terry. Yeah. Or somewhere along there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there I you think go. that is the spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great spot. Yeah, it's pretty bare and there. Then, then nice. we have art at all three entrances to Grant Park. Which is great, which I think is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it kind of goes into the where Dragonfly was, but we can put something else there and we can get something right there. I, I like having three pieces at Grant Park. That really shows that we've put an effort into getting art over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think everybody will be very happy when we finally get all those pieces there. And Did they you all kind see... of go together. One's two of them are stone and the other one's light. So I think it I think they'll look great. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's my two cents. John, are you gonna show us another the one of the other parks? Yeah, I well, I was gonna see if you wanted to look at heritage jokes. I think there's a lot of enthusiasm for this one spot already. Well, that's why I stopped sharing my screen. If anybody wants okay. me to go for it, Terry. I'd like to make a motion that we put. Oh God. Yeah. Pe pe say it again, Monica. Magnify. Magnify the three magnifies um, along that dirt area. Once you get into um, Grant Park from the Newcastle West entrance. I second the motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Chair Waldman. Yes. Vice Chair King? Yes. Commissioner Corgan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Yes. Commissioner Janjigian? Yes. And Commissioner Moore? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. If and when we get all the new pieces into Grant Park, we should try to do some sort of um, post or something about look at all this art now in grant park so either we get it in the city manager website or town crier or something or else but, yeah, next, or door. next door that we have a good concentration now there because it is um, a big change that we've been able and a big one that we able to do it and something we've been wanting to do so or and i'll, I'll 
if I can, I'll provide just a quick update on the installation of some of the other sculptures. Um, oh, great. As, as I had mentioned, um, the, the concrete uh, installation of the concrete pads was delayed because of some illnesses within uh, the maintenance department. I'm hoping that we can schedule the installations for the first part, some of the installations for the first, first part of April. Okay. In the next few weeks. And when I have, when I have actual dates, of course, I will let you all know. Okay. Thank you. Yay. Um, John, do we want to discuss Matthew Duffy, who we chose two pieces from, and he's on the East Coast, and it looks like uh, getting those two pieces could be very expensive for him to ship? John? Sure. Yeah, uh, sure. Were, you, you, said you, it, you said it already. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Were you able, I, I, my thought was to perhaps instead of two pieces, um, choose one of the two and that would be a little more cost effective for the artist to ship them. And um, because I think that was part of the problem, John, right? Correct, that he yes. was balking at shipping two of them. Yes. Okay. Um, but I, I'd rather see one than none in the city. Um, is there any way, John, you would be able to bring up the, the pictures? Are you able to? Yeah, he had the chrome heart. He had the big red heart, right? The big red, the low yeah, poly I love heart, them. and the sun and the sunrise yeah. sunset, which I also loved as well. Yeah. So yes. think, okay, I think we're all familiar with. How, how much? How much was it going to cost to ship them? Um, he was. I think he was saying it's more than the stipend. Oh, yeah. They're both um, because big he, pieces. They are big pieces. Um, the one, the heart um, was smaller or was cheap, was, I don't want to say cheaper, less expensive than the, uh, the um, sunrise, the sunset. sunrise sunset. Thank you. Um, and how much can... was our stipend? $1,500. $1, and why couldn't we get both of them? They're both awesome pieces i know can we, well, can we can we um find some money to pay for the shipping for both i mean i like those pieces better than i like midnight stomp to be honest with you i i think they're both wonderful pieces maybe um terry's got a good idea maybe we we ask the artist what the shipping costs are yeah I like that idea. They are nice. Yeah, they're really, really they're really good pieces. Yeah. Um, so the um the artist indicated that the heart probably about a thousand, the sunrise sunset about uh closer to two thousand. And then them. there's there's another oh. thing we have to contemplate too, is that at some point we would we may have to pay to ship them, ship one, if not both back. Yeah, I almost wonder if we if we are going to pay for shipping, can we get a longer loan? That's a great idea, Hillary, like five years. Yeah, because it's if we're because I don't want to set a precedent either. I mean, I think we need to be careful of a we put our call for art. We're pretty clear in our terms. You know, we're if we're going to make make this exception, I think we do need to think about it long term you know either can we get it for long can we get it for longer or you know what are we going to get for also kind of making this ex exception because we also can't set a precedent of then taking artwork and then always individually paying for it because maybe you know, we asked for 10 years <laughs> that's all right. i think five is good <laughs> Well, there's also the issue um, if he ships them out here, and I've seen one, if not both of them, in um, when I've looked at sculpture, um, uh, other places that have sculpture loan programs, these pieces have circulated. So uh, does he come out and get them at the end of the loan, or do we, the city staff, have to pack it up? I mean, packaging well, these things up is frightening. And that's one thing I was going to, one piece I was going to add was if, uh, which isn't, I mean, we, we possibly can do it, but <laughs> if he ships them, then the city is responsible for installing. Usually the artists bring them out and the artist is the one who's actually installing. We, we will provide, you know, a, 
a, a crew there on site to help out in small ways, uh, but this would mean that the city is installing um, on our own, which uh, again, not, ne not necessarily something we can't do, but um, would be an added piece to it. Um, I would hesitate to promise that the city is gonna pack up the pieces for him. Um, because I would not want to be responsible for mm -mm. packing and mm -mm. shipping. No. He would have to pack them, and if he wants them back after the 10-year loan, he's going to have to come and pack them up and sell. <laughs> Do we <So>. hear 15? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think there's agreement amongst most, if not all of us, that they're both wonderful pieces. Um do we want to direct John to see if we can get a longer term loan and um, possibly part of that is paying for the shipping, the one way shipping? Yeah. I and think 10 years, yeah, I don't think 10 years is unreasonable. I mean, the, the uh, Dragonfly was installed almost 10 years ago. So I don't think it's unreasonable to have it for that long if he's willing to. Do we want to try and ask for 10 years and see what he might come back with five or three, but, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah. I mean, I do I think, think because I in the, a lot of our sculptures have been here for over 10 years. So he well, understands that that's kind of what our expectation is. Right. We can also say too, these are up for available for purchase by residents. I mean, it's part of the art without walls. So, you know, there are theoretically could be purchased. Someone could fall in love with it and purchase it. Um, but as Monica said, if these circulate, he may want to get them back into circulation. Um, but, you know, we can ask. Um, I do think you know, we need to be very careful that, you know, he knows he's going to have to come and get it and wrap it and all that because it's also a burden on us. But I'm, I'm a little, fr I like the pieces, but I'm a little frustrated. Like we had a pretty clear call for art that these were in California. You know, if you can't maybe ship them, maybe don't submit them, you know, but, you know. I hear what you're saying, probably. I hear what you're saying, I mean, costs have probably skyrocketed, too, right? That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, you probably yeah, didn't for, for him to drive them now, the, the cost of gas alone is, That's you true. Know, That's point. Out. At but, least but he's I not leaving California. <laughs> A lot more expensive to leave than it is to come. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have so a house we make a motion then that John reach out to the artist of Duffy and propose um, we will cover the cost of shipping one way for an extended loan period of 10 years as a starting point uh, with the artist to come pick up and wrap when removing the art pieces to come and get them and wrap them up and everything. I second okay. the motion. Before we make that motion, I, I think we need to lock down the actual shipping price, though. Have John maybe go back to the artist. You said it was a thousand and two thousand, but I think we mm -hmm. need to get the, make sure that is that firm, John. Uh, no, and that that was going to be my suggestion was um, perhaps I reach out to him, see if he is interested in um, the city potentially covering the shipping costs. If he is uh, for for an extended loan. Um, I would perhaps ask um, for some flexibility of between five to 10 years. Um, of course, I'll start with the 10. Um, and if he's interested, then I will ask him, can you give me a firm cost of what it costs to ship simply because he's gonna have you know, companies that he works with and know better than I will what it costs to ship. Um, and once he gets that dollar amount, I can come back to you all um, and make sure that that is something that um, we want to do. Um, and I can let him know that once I have the dollar amount, um, we can talk about it here and um, see if you all approve. Okay, I withdraw my second because I thought the 1,000, 2,000 was firm. Thank you. But, but Hillary, I think if you, uh, do we need, John, do we need to have a motion for you to go and talk to the artist again or? I I think if there is consensus on the uh, the commission, um, that that is just fine. Okay. Thank you, thank you, John. Just thank one you, John. Button on your long list. All right, John. You, 
Um, let's go on to discussing our hometown haiku event. And I'm going to first ask if there's any comments from the public before I yield to Hillary. Um, nope. Okay, Hillary, go for it. Yeah, the hometown haiku event or contest is open. Um, this is where we're asking Los Altos residents or people who work here to describe or write about Los Altos in haiku form. So I'm advertising it as uh, write about Los describe Los Altos in 17 syllables and you could win a prize. Uh, we have four categories for kids, adults, and seniors. Um, we have two judges, Carol Garlston from the Nature Gallery and Jacob, um, Jonathan Wiseman from the City Council are going to be judges. And then um, we are going to be displaying the haiku, the winning haiku, and possibly probably the finalists um, during the um, champagne, the bubbly stroll in May. We talked with Lava and we are going to have haiku on display so people will enjoy champagne and haiku during that. Um, so I will send the flyer out to John to send out. So please help spread the word. I've got it on next door and in various groups, but please just help spread the word. Cause that's always the uphill battle with all of this. So that's it. And Hillary, do you need um, any budget as far as. Um, as far as printing, I think if we're going to be printing, I think I looked at it. I think we can do it for about like 250 if we're going to be printing them on nice poster size for the haiku for the champagne scroll. So, yep. John, do we need to make a motion for some budget for the haiku display? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Hillary, so I will make a motion yours? that we, we uh, yeah, I'll make a motion that we budget about two hundred and fifty dollars for printing haiku materials for the haiku contest. Oh, also, we're going to need to get um, prizes, so let's make it three hundred because we'll give out some gift cards. Do you want to make it three fifty? Yeah, let's make it three fifty. So we'll do gift cards. Yeah. I'll second. Do we have a date uh, for the haiku? Um, it runs through Mar through April 15th, and winners will be announced, I believe, on April the 29th. 29th. Yes, the 29th. Okay. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Moore? Yes. Sorry. Commissioner Janjigian? Yes. Commissioner K Couture? Yes. Commissioner Corgan? Yes. Vice Chair King? Yes. And Chair Waldman? Yes. Passes unanimously. Okay. All right. Our friend, will you dance with me is up to discuss next. Um, before we go into it, any comments about will you dance for me from the public? Yes, no. Okay. So John included as part of our packet guidelines for uh, how we decommission a piece. Um, John, to my knowledge, we've never gone through a formal process like this before to do a decommission. And I know you've included it in the packet, but can you just touch on some highlights? Of yes, sure. Sure. So um, starting back in the process, typically um, a request for the discussion of decommissioning is brought up. It can be brought up by um, any number of individuals. Um, we had that conversation at the last meeting. Um, where you all approved putting it on the agenda to discuss actual decommission. Um, as we are now at that stage, you'll then review the request and decide, um, you know, we, we uh, gather community feedback if there is any. Um, we did not receive any public comment today. Um, and then um, make a recommendation as to whether or not we should decommission it. Um, you can choose what to do with it, um, either uh, selling or trying to sell, donating, uh, destroying, um, any number of options. Um, there are some criteria that you'll uh, that you consider. Those are on uh, page four of five of the PDF. Um, I think it's page three of the actual guidelines. Um, a number of questions that you can um, consider. Um, and if um, at the end of the, the consideration, the commission decides, you, you know, can make findings that 
it is appropriate to decommission, then you can make the uh, um, a motion to to decommission, and we can decide. You can decide what to do with it. Does the artist have any say with it uh, about it? We can get input from the artist. Um, what I might suggest is seeing if the artist is, you know, if we are going to decommission it, seeing if the artist is interested in reacquiring the piece. Um, I think at least one of the commissioners has spoken with the artist and perhaps he's not as he, interested in coming up and getting it. Um, he's, he's hard to get in touch with. So again, yeah. just because you can find them on the internet doesn't mean they'll answer. So, um, and we can, yeah. And, and, you know, because the city does own the piece, it is up to the discretion of the city of what to do with the piece. Okay. Thank you. I'm going through the information that John sent us for the review criteria. There's a section called use resources wisely. It says, does the artwork require excessive maintenance or repair have faults of design or workmanship? or is repairing or securing the artwork impractical or unfeasible. Um, I don't know if it qualifies as excessive maintenance, but it's not maintenance we can do ourselves. We don't feel it. No. So I, I believe it qualifies um, under that uh, sub subheading. Um, I, I don't yeah. I don't yeah, think it, it qualified under anything else. So, um, you know, I, I I went and looked and I the artist sells through a gallery and the piece is worth right now like 3,300. Um, it's had fiberglass and paint and a bunch of other things. It's not any kind of medium I know how to fix. And um, I just fear that having someone come out and fix it may be worth cost more than the actual piece is worth. So um, if we do decide to move forward with decommissioning, do we want to either um, donate it to someone or sell it? I would be interested to see if there are any dance schools that would be interested in having it. Yeah, I, like I, in, I, in ballet schools. We know. we discussed putting it in front of. Uh, it used to be San Juan School of Dance. Right. I'm not sure if they um, still go by that name, but um, that could be a good point that we might want to do um, a little research. But then again, we don't know. Um, you know, here's something. It's damaged. We don't know what the cost is to fix it. Would you like it? <laughs> It might be a hard sell, um, and that would require one, if not more, of us to make a bunch of phone calls as well. Can I can I add a piece to that? Um, you know, certainly it's an option is to see if a dance studio is willing to take it. Um, my guess is that if you find one, or if we find one that is willing to accept it, they're going to turn around and ask the city if they can put it out in front of their dance studio. That's in which fair. case, in which case, the city probably is better off just keeping it and relocating it. Okay, that's fair. Good point. And we'd have to probably pour a pad and move it. And yeah, that's true. Um, it depends on where. It depends on where the where the location is. Okay, that's a good point, though. So, um, not donating it. Um, then do we want to put something in the city manager's weekly update and see if anyone wants it? Offer it to the residents. How will we decide if we get more than one person? <laughs> First come, we can come. auction it off. <laughs> uh, I have some rec department. <laughs> I'd be willing to call around to the dance studios and the ballet schools to see if any of them are interested. Okay. I don't know if that helps, but I could do that. Yeah, I mean, just, I, I, I feel that bad. dance studio down at Rancho, that'd be a great spot for it. That's what I was thinking, too. 
just just There's be aware that what Dan is talking about. Him. We don't want it to come back to us where it gets it gets put on city property. We have to maintain it, so it's it would have to be city property. property. That's right. that's franchise yeah, property. Not city. Yeah. So then they they could if they want to take it, as long as they know they got to maintain it and install it. So yeah, the Rancho I mean, Dance Studio is private property. Janet, do you want? Uh, it feels like this is agenda item will never die, but um, <laughs> yeah. let's try to get it. Also. Let's try sorry. To get it. Yeah. sorry, Hillary. <laughs> Let's try to get it off the agenda, though. Let's either if Janet can either find a home for it or we put it in the city manager thing and say we have a sculpture someone can adopt permanently. Please, you know, email or be ready to come before the commission and make your case. I, I yeah. could do that. Um, and so we it, it, finding a new home for it. So we would say you take it, you maintain it. But we're not who's going to we're not you're not going to pay us. We're not going to pay you. Um, no, yeah, no. yeah. Uh, will we pay to move it? No, they no. have to pay to move it. They have to pay to move it. And, and how I much? Guess, I guess the city could take it down off its concrete thing, right? But we're they not going to move it. Yeah, yeah. I they think can... that's a good idea. The uh, city should take it off its concrete thing so it doesn't get ruined in the process. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll, I, I'll I would. I would. I would sorry to interrupt. I would add it, it depends on where it's going, but the city could potentially move it. You know, if, if a resident here in town wants it, I think it's it's light enough um, that we could probably pick it up and put it in the back of a truck and drive it somewhere in town. Um, I wouldn't want to go, you know, outside of Los. I mean, maybe a couple miles outside Los Altos, but. You know, if it's here local, I think we could, probably could help. Do oh, so. The question is, do we want? I mean, Janet can email a couple dance studios, but do we want to open it up to the rest of the community, or we just want to kind of wrap this up and either it's a dance studio or it's over? I would. Um, I, oh, okay. Sorry. 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 Go ahead, Janet. Oh, um. I could reach out to the private property folks first and see if the private property folks want it and then if and get a quick turnaround on that and then let you guys know and then if that's a no go then open it up everywhere post it on next door put it in the town crier i don't know if you want to pay for that but and then on the city manager thing i i, I would say let's just put it the city manager let's not what? yeah not broadcast yeah, it to and I, I, i'm gonna probably say what i don't know if john is thinking this but i don't know if, if we as commissioners are allowed to try and give away a piece of city property so we, may not, <laughs> we may not want to ourselves post it to to yeah. next door oh, oh oh good point yeah i think do it through the city manager email and see what what responses we get and then if we don't go further from there you know okay so maybe janet you want to uh, try contacting you said uh some private property owners like the, the dance schools if you don't yeah. get anything in, within like a week um if you could write some text and give it to john to give to the city manager and let's see if we get a response otherwise um either way it's on the agenda next meeting and and a final decision is going to make, be made one way or another sure and is it okay if i have contact san juan because you know they're at the corner of a state and i think second and see if they want to just have it in front of their studio Okay, so I'll do that too. I think that would actually be a great spot for it. But as long as they know it has some damage and um, uh, they may have to contact the artist to fix it. Okay, will do. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Janet. Uh, thank sure. you. Thank you, Janet. Sure. Um, all right. Um, the uh, Los Altos Art Task Force Subcommittee. Um, before we go into it, any comments on the task force subcommittee uh, report or uh, the subcommittee itself from the public? Nope. All right. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Jenna if she's ready because we had some meetings and we, we made some progress and it's all goodness. So Jenna. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so as most of you probably know, we had a meeting on March 1st um, with various arts organizations throughout Los Altos, and we had a great turnout. We were pleasantly surprised. So in attendance, there was a rep from LAVA, Los Altos Stage, 
the History Museum, Nature Gallery, First Fridays, the Library, Gallery 9, MVLA Freestyle Academy, and Arts Los Altos. And uh, pretty unanimously, I felt that everyone was excited about promoting mm -hmm. in Los Altos and collaborating on expanding art in Los Altos. One idea that was brought up was creating a master calendar of all art events in Los Altos across organizations. Where I don't know if that's something we're going to be able to make happen. I don't know if you want me to go into detail about that, but that's something people are really interested in. And I, I think it big picture. It's just that people are willing to collaborate. Um, another thing we brought up was creating a roster to share contact information across organizations. Um, another thing we talked to Lava about uh, collaborating with their events, and I know we met with them and made progress on the haiku contest promoting that at the bubbly straw. So that was really productive. And let's see what else really stood out here. Um, Hillary and Monica, please feel free, to, feel free to jump in if I'm forgetting anything. One thing yeah. that I thought was um, kind of neat, so we know for future events is that uh, Bryant Bow of Los Altos Library, he offered for us to use the library's free promotional services like the bulletin boards, email circulation, and social media for free events. So unfortunately not for all events, only ones that are free. But I thought that that would be great exposure. And just overall, it was a really great, positive, productive meeting. Everyone, see, it, 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 I got the notion that people were like, finally, we're all coming together. We're talking about things. Mm -hmm. So I think that we're going to make a lot of progress. Yeah, I would say I think there was a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of very positive feeling about it. Um, definitely the kind of um, business side of it. They really want people in downtown to be doing, you know, art events because that brings people downtown. They want it all over downtown, not just in specific areas. Um, they're very receptive to that. Um, I talked to Carol Garston and Georgie from the natural, uh, the history museum about, they may come up with a dance event, um, around first Friday, possibly in support of Ukraine. So they're working on that. Um, I think what we're kind of down to is kind of trying to figure out a structure of how will this work? Um, how, you know, it's going to need kind of people to step up and do stuff. And is that, that can, you know, we can support events like doing the haiku with the champagne stroll. That's something we can do. Um, we're going to hopefully do some, you know, having a presence at the farmer's market, which we're going to get to do, can do stuff. Um, so it's, there's things we still can work out, but there's definitely a lot of, a lot of positive feedback to this idea. And I think it's good that we did it because um, it just shows we're trying to bring together the different art groups to serve all of Los Altos. So I think it was important for us to do and kind of start the ball rolling. It may be, a, you know, maybe a little bit of a while to figure out the structure and how it will work, but we'll we'll get there, I think, and we'll see if it goes. And there were across organizations we were talking about collaborating too. Like we were talking with Arts Los Altos about doing the um, sort of like the scavenger hunt, weren't we? And then um, like MVLA about having students Mm -hmm. with their artwork and um open storefronts mm -hmm. so there's a lot of potential. a lot of good ideas mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of great a lot ideas of, a lot of enthusiasm for it which is great so yeah and we don't have a, a date for a second meeting but you know, that'll be pending yeah and we'll work on getting out we need to probably do another email out to the people but we can we'll we'll meet together and talk about that so we'll do that yeah and, and there was also discussion of a brochure that had <clears throat> public art you know, either through downtown or through the city. Yeah. Well, we have our, our the public art brochure, which we're kind of talking about getting updated, but we did talk about a scavenger hunt that encompassed not just city owned art, but other art put in by other groups, um, which I think would be a great idea. And that would be of interest to people. So just a Hillary, lot of good ideas. Yeah. Hillary, should I bring up their brochure right now or should we wait until we talk about the budget? Um, we were talking about the budget, I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
Is that do you want to do that then, Monica, or should we do that now? Or I I, I think so because we um we probably want to also talk about the farmers market. You know, if John's got some dates for us, or if he yeah. knows when he might have some dates, and then we can figure out some budgeting items with that as well. So all the, all, overall, all for the arts task force or Los Altos Arts Council, which I think we landed on the name. I think really positive, positive energy, positive feedback. We're, we're we'll just kind of keep moving forward with it as we go, and we'll see where it evolves to. That was good. And um, through our meeting and then our meeting with Lava, Hillary was able to arrange for the haiku contest for displaying. So yep. that already is a win, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, last, let's talk about money. Uh, budget recommendations. I don't know if John, if um, you want to start the conversation, but before we go into it, I'll see if there's any public comments on our budget recommendations or any ideas. Nope. All right, John. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I, I don't. I got to my mute button too late. I did have a question on the public um, on the budget. Um, yes, is there ahead. is there a um, a kind of a a uh, high level view of and there probably is but this is just as a member of the public i'm wondering is there a high uh, level view of what the commission wants to accomplish you know as far as how the city is going to look with art or is, are there any particular ideas and goals of that that the has in mind you know and and then going out and reaching out to see what that budget would be you know, I, I I apologize. I realized I missed the um, the agenda item that came before it. So um, my apologies. But let's go ahead. We'll we'll talk about the budget, and then we'll go back to the the one last agenda item. So actually, I take that back. Let's um, and I think it will help answer your question um, or um, give you some ideas if we go to the. The problem is that the agenda items has received an update from the subcommittee, but it's, um, oh, that's the task force, because we also have one more subcommittee that looks like it's missing from the, um, from the agenda. Okay, I take that back. Let's go ahead and talk about the budget. We have, we have one item that looks like it fell off the, um, the agenda. Um, so, um, to try and answer, I, I, I'll try and answer Dana's question um, as far as what we're trying to accomplish. I think part of that is, is answered in our work plan and also going over our budget. Um, our commission hasn't previously had a budget or had very much of a budget. So um, this is really our, our first time handling um, a large amount of money and trying to decide what we want to do with it. And I know that that doesn't really answer it, but we we are trying to figure out our goals as far as what we as a commission want to do in the city. We're also, if I can jump in, we're also, um, we don't know what our future budget will be because um, while that we have the percent for art program in place, sometimes um, we don't, we just don't always know what kind of budget we're going to have. So. We do have this kind of healthy sculpture loan program. We want to pre be able to protect um, the city's assets. So we need kind of funding for that. So we, I think the budget, we are kind of looking at very carefully and very prudently to make sure we have funds to take care of the pieces the city owns because we don't know what our future income or what, what money we'll get coming in. Would you say that's correct, Monica? Yeah, and, and, and to touch on what Hiller is saying, um, we, um, as a commission, haven't had money to do basic maintenance, um, and some of our pieces may need some maintenance, which we had earmarked last budget cycle. Um, we only received our percent for funding, uh, art percent for art funding, I think it was back in last May, so this is a whole new process for us to actually be able to, to really budget. Um, John, did you have any comments before we go into this? Um, no, I don't have much to add beyond what's in the staff report. Um, I will just kind of give some ballpark dollars because I think we're still okay. waiting for final determination on exactly how much is in the public art fund. 
Um, but I believe the last budget uh, budget year we had one hundred and sixty six thousand dollars in the public art fund. Um, the city budgeted sixty thousand of that into the uh, last into the current year's CIP, um, as well as budgeted fifty thousand for uh, next year's CIP. Which means, uh, if you take those out, there was still fifty six thousand left from the original one hundred and sixty six thousand. We've also received additional funds, um, at least two hundred thousand dollars more. So. Um, Go wild! No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> there, there is, there are, there are funds um, available uh, should the commission have uh, projects and and ideas. Um, my suggestion is to really focus in rather than just putting a blank dollar amount. Um, focus in on these are the projects we want to accomplish. Of course, you've talked about some already, um, and so we can include those into the the recommended. Um, budget for next year. And John, can you give an estimate of the um, sixty thousand for this year? I know the the sculpture loan program. Um, we we chose I think nine, ten, eleven pieces. How much of that money we've actually spent this year, or is earmarked for some of the sculptures that we picked, and and other projects? I would say all told of the 60,000, um, probably between 20, probably around 20 to 25,000 has been earmarked or spent. Um, I'm thinking of the sculpture stipends um, as well Mother as Hen. Mother Hen. Uh, okay. Did we, did we, I don't, I think we include, I think, we paid for Mother Hen out of, uh, not out of that 60,000. But, um, so I'd say 20 to 25, and that includes the um, the funds that were earmarked for the community center, um, the murals that uh, Vice Chair King was talking about earlier. So the murals were voted on by city council out of, um, I think, the general fund, were they not? But there, but not not for the actual murals themselves. The uh, the work that Linda Gass was going to do. Oh, okay. The extra five. Yes. Okay. okay. So we still have money to go wild with. Um. That's not the term that I used, even though it, still, it was still, even though it was the term. Wild with with spending. Um. So we are looking at possibly um, spending twenty five or thirty thousand on stomp, possibly, um, and then possibly fifteen for for the tower, which would be another forty five, which would still that would take us to about what we were supposed to spend. Um, the 60,000, give or take. Um, so I will mention, um, is it appropriate for me to mention, uh, Jen and I are on a, a budgeting subcommittee. Can I mention uh, some of our findings? John, is that okay in, in, right now? Yeah, that was, okay. yep. Um, so the... we have started the process of talking to other cities and talking to them, their, um, public art staff liaisons and um, it's, it's a slow process finding out anything um, you know they're busy people but there seems to be two camps one is a camp where they have a staff person um, who is paid for who is dedicated to public art um, and they can be part-time so um, that would mean uh, they're a city employee but there's no benefits involved I believe um, or that they are like John and they are um, they have uh, other city duties. Um, one of the pieces of feedback I got from Redwood City is that they have things that are being built like a new senior center and uh, it's recommended that they have some public art uh, associated with the senior center or the port of uh, Redwood City. We don't have a port, but they wanted to try and get more people 
down to the port. So um, they figured public art might help bring people. So sometimes larger projects um, come from civic um, engagement or new civic buildings or civic uh, processes. Um, if we want to think about that going forward in the next year or two, if we want to think about a gateway project somewhere in the city, you know, commissioning somebody to or, or an organization to create um, uh, a, a larger piece. And I think um, Jen and I still have some more conversations, so we'll probably next meeting have more information on that, but um, something for us to think about. And um, we can also think about budgeting for um, things like everybody is an artist. Those are smaller dollar amounts, but if we want to do those, you know, there there is a dollar amount attached to that. So, you know, a few thousand a year, maybe for those kind of events. Um, and the question is, do people have other ideas? Yes, oh, uh, take yourself off uh, mute, Jenna. Sorry about that. My kids just came home. So, um, so an idea that um, we were talking about in our um, subcommittee, Janet and Hillary, is updating our brochure. Um, and we really, have you all seen the flyers around town that Lava posts, like the beer stroll and the bubbly stroll? They're really nice. The, the artist, the graphic artist who does those does a great job. So I reached out to her. I got her contact, contact information from Scott. And she gave me um, not exact pricing because what we want will be contingent on how intricate we want to be, but it starts around $150 per page. And I mean, right now, our brochure, I don't know if you'd count this as four pages technically because it folds right in the middle. So maybe we'd be looking at around starting at like 600 to to make a really nice brochure that would give us some great credibility in Los Altos. I know, Janet, you said that Arts Los Altos well, has a really nice brochure, right? That Well, go ahead, Janet. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I, so I just, um, I found that they had a really very helpful, informative brochure about who they are, what they do, and I thought it would be fantastic if we had something like that, especially if we're going to be at the farmer's market. Um, and just to get the word out about the Public Arts Commission, I got the sense from the event on Saturday that people were like, oh, there's a Public yeah. Arts Commission. <laughs> so um, so I think it would be great to get the word out, if only to engage people and let them know, you know, how they could get involved. So, Well, and, and I agree with that. And to, to piggyback on that, I think if we're going to do any kind of have any kind of presence at events, we need the brochure. We need something to hand out that tells who we are, what we do and shows some of the artwork. Also, like a table banner, which is like 150 bucks. So we need kind of a couple thousand, you know, for some very basic graphics and handouts that can represent us as as an organization. And it I think that's like well that could probably budget. come out of the budget that that we were okay that for. Yeah, Agreed. and I think probably because yeah. sooner rather than later, if um. We'll yeah. ask John if we have, uh, if and when we're going to be able to get to the farmer's market. Like Hillary said, you, you don't want to sit there empty handed. Yeah. You want something. Well, I'm ready to, to get the ball rolling with yeah. the artists. So whenever we can vote on it to go forward. Could I ask a question too? Maybe this is getting ahead of the game, but, um, but we're talking about the farmer's market. Does the arts, arts commission have a banner no, or something for that about. purpose? Yeah. That's what we need one. We need one. That's what we need. We need like a table banner for that. We do not have one. Let's I think we have one yard. I think we have one yard sign somewhere from an event. <laughs> John, yeah. do do we um have any potential dates or do you know anything about getting a spot at the farmers market? Yeah, so I've I've been talking with the staff who's organizing the city table at the farmers market. Um mm -hmm. They are sending me um, some of the dates in which uh, the commission can pick a few. Um, we will not get uh, nearly as often as I think the commission would have liked. Um, there are a number of other commissions as well as city programs that are all vying for the table. Um, I'm hopeful we'll get um, perhaps three dates 
um, to start with. Um, they did want me to remind you all that it is quite a commitment um, because we need to be there the entire time um, for the farmer's market, which is from four to eight um, with some setup prior. Um, and take so, that, can you make sure that they, they would give us dates that would not uh, conflict with our meeting? Yes. I, I believe that they, the dates that they've gotten, um, I'll have to look and I'll have to talk with them about which dates they, they weren't able to get a table every, like every, every day. Well, no, every day or every week of every month. Um, oh, we know that. Yeah. No, the, the, the city was not able to get a table oh, at every farmer's that. market. Okay. Oh. Busy. Yeah. So, um, I guess we'll have to wait till next month, which is going to be the, the week two of the farmer's market to even find out when we could um, get a slot or two or three. Yeah, but I would, I mean, I think if there are materials, I, we'll, we'll definitely we have on them now. slots. If there are materials that you want to have prepared for yeah. the, the farmer's market, um, I would, I would include those as part of um, the budget budget recommend yeah budget yeah, recommendations on this now i think yeah so i would i'd like to vote on our um a banner a brochure and also some funds for having perhaps some kind of art um exhibit or um some kind yeah. of art event uh, artists coming and doing something with people um, yes. I, con I contacted um, a glass blower and they run three grand for um, for an event like this. I spoke to Foothill College has a, a clay club and it would be probably pretty inexpensive. We'd buy some air clay. I've got some texture tools and we could have a couple people come in and do some clay work with, you know, the kids and adults and, and um, you know, maybe for a couple hundred dollars. But I think we need to have a fund for for the farmer's market events. That's a good idea, yeah. So you're, um, Jenna, you were saying about 600 to maybe a thousand. I think so. And I think the banner could probably be included in that too. Um, you didn't give me an exact price, but we looked on okay. Vistaprint. Was that where we were looking, Hilary? And it was, it was pretty inexpensive. So yeah, I think yeah. upwards of like a thousand, maybe even yeah. like 1200, just a buffer might be good. And then I, um, go ahead, Magali. Yeah, I think we should budget for an artist, some artist Actually, wait. activities at the Okay, so market. the 600 mm -hmm. is just the fee to produce it, 600 plus, and then we have to print them out. So, but I, I don't imagine okay. it would be that much. Yeah. I, think, um, I think FedEx Kinko's charges yeah. like a dollar per page, per colored page. So. Well, it might be yeah. more, but I mean, I think we can we can still afford. It. Yeah. I think we can. Let's say we do two thousand yeah. to do the brochure. I mean, that will probably get in most of it. If not, we can come back and okay. or do a special meeting. But I think we can do that. Okay. It's it's not expensive. Yeah. Is there sure. a chance the city has a contract or something with? I knew they printed our business cards from Alpha Graphics. I don't know if there's any discount that could be had there. But that's a good idea. A we should look into that. It's a good thought, John. We can look into it. Okay. Um, would we, um, I know we're doing a budget discussion and it's supposed to be budget in the future, but can we make a motion to okay um, a, uh, a fund for both um, a brochure and a banner now and get that in the works? Yeah, I would, I would recommend, um, and then maybe a separate uh, one for or an artist uh, uh, fund as well. I would, I would, I was going to recommend um, a, a motion for a dollar amount for farmers market events to be used from the current year CIP project. Okay. Uh, I guess I haven't made a motion yet today, so I will make a motion for us, to, the Public Arts Commission, to create a fund of 
let's say five thousand dollars because we have to include um, artist fees as well. Um, and our uh, five thousand dollars for um, a brochure, a banner, and artist fees for farmer market farmers market. I'll second activities. that motion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and to clarify, what I think I heard was to <laughs> use five thousand dollars from the current year CIP project. For that purpose, is that That's what I heard? Exactly what I, yes, okay. John, that is exactly what I said. Thank you, um, <laughs> Commissioner Corrigan. Yes, Commissioner Couture. I think Commissioner yes. Couture may have. Oh, Sorry. thank you. Yes, no, I'm here. I just Com Commissioner Jan Jigian. Yes. yes, Commissioner Moore, Vice Chair King. Yes, and Chair Waldman. Yes. Sorry. Do we want to earmark um, some funds for um, that will potentially go to, since we have um, a larger amount of funds than we've ever had, um, a potential gateway project to be researched over the next fiscal year? Why don't you talk about kind of what a gateway project is briefly for people who may know? Okay, it. a gateway project is a larger project where we would commission someone, we'd find a spot. Let's say we've got um, a new housing um, development going in on distal, is it distal drive, distal circle, um, and bringing a piece that is made specifically by an artist or a group for that site that is commissioned. It's it's unique. It's not like our sculpture loan program where they usually send us, I've already got this made and I send it all over the world. Would you like to take it? So it would be a specific piece. It would be a showcase piece, um, perhaps made by someone who's fairly well known either locally to the local to the Bay Area or internationally or nationally. A lot of cities undergo this kind of process. This is a, a pretty common. And so what you're proposing is we research that earmark funds to research it or earmark or just set up research. Um, I think it's the kind of thing where it would require probably a subcommittee several months to even start looking into it. We probably need to do some, some community outreach. Um, so it's 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 a process that could end up taking quite some time, and with all the changes in the laws of housing in California, it may be that certain areas are going to be changing a lot. Like perhaps San Antonio, Foothill, we we don't know yet. Um, so maybe an area that we start looking into, it turns out it's going to change in a way that it's not appropriate, and we have to refocus. So. This is more like a long term project. This is not a, a one or two month um, project. You know, something that, that um, with probably some community input, we'll say this is Los Altos. This is, you know, a, a piece that people will come and see and, and, and brings not just visitors from our own community, but from outside our community as well. And this is uh, a piece of sculpture. Is it sculpture we're talking about? Um, it could be sculpture. It could be an environmental piece. Um, there's the I forgot the artist's name, but the works over at the Palo Alto Art Center. The um, Patrick. Um, Willard, yeah. yeah, he he does. Um, he takes. Uh, I guess it's branches. I think it's willow, but I don't remember. Um, and he winds them and people can go into them. They're interactive. They're um, almost like houses made out of pieces of trees. Um, but he does really amazing work. I, I don't know what his costs are. I'm, I'm sure he's not inexpensive. Yeah, yeah I'm, sure it's, I'm sure I'd be, you know, my jaw would that's, drop. That's like a $100,000 item or like, it's like having like Christo from Raptor City or something. So. Um, so you're talking about a gateway piece that not not necessarily a piece that goes on every gateway into the city. It could be something. Correct. Correct. Somewhere. It's not like um, 
I don't know what you call the pieces where they've got the rock with the the cedar um, right. in them, but that's already kind of a gateway. You like you've entered Los Altos. So a gateway or signature piece. So really, we need a subcommittee, people who are willing to be on a subcommittee to research it. So don't all shout at once, guys. But <laughs> but before even doing that, we have to think about you know budgeting in the sense that we it's a project that would probably take a, a while to uh, research to uh, gather community input to even then reach out to artists. So this would be a long-term thing. And hopefully between now and then, hopefully there's the chance we'll get more budget as well. Agreed. John, do you have any knowledge about um, any potential bud budget additions in the pipeline? Uh, not right at the moment, but I do know that there are a number of projects that are coming and coming very soon. Um, one suggestion that I was going to make, um, sort of to move this along is if, if that is something the commission is interested in, then perhaps we put a, a placeholder dollar amount in the, uh, let's see here, be the fiscal year 23, 24 CIP. Okay. So the next year project, you know, we can add, you know, if a hundred thousand is the dollar amount that the commission is comfortable with, um, recommend adding a hundred thousand dollars to that year's uh budget and, and that'll and letting, give i was gonna say letting people know that it may not cost that much as well so sure so yeah we don't know yep um are our scholarships something we would ever do in our budget like scholarships for art students or scholarships for people who have done art or is that something we would do and and it's good thing you brought that up hillary because i meant to mention that we had okayed um, the at least the $1,000 um, stipend um, and we were going to revisit it in September but um, we may want to look at once that program has launched maybe oh, expanding yeah. it okay that's a good idea okay but we probably need to go through at least one cycle and then decide as a group like do we want to expand it do should it be more should it be less you know um, and how did, how did we do the right thing the first time and what, what did we learn the first time we did it? So um, I, I think we should make, uh, maybe not make a motion, but we should um, think about doing a larger project and it doesn't lock us into doing it. Um, again, research needs to be done and um, seeing if it's even appropriate for our city. John, Anita here, pardon me for interrupting. Have you guys talked at all about something that I think we brought up many months ago, which was possibly connecting with the people who are doing 330 distal? Yeah, I, I just brought it up that there's a, a project on distal that that maybe um, maybe taking art there, maybe this kind of project would be appropriate there as well. Well, I know that they have, First of all, a very constrained site, but I have seen some renderings and some notions of things they want to do. I have no idea if there's either a place or an interest in their potentially working with you guys, but it's just about the right time, if not already the right time, to to query that. John, is that something you'd want me to do? Would you want to do? How do we want? How would we want to handle that? Because you know, I can call Weldon. Um, yeah. Or we can do it through staff. It doesn't matter. I I can we we can do it on staff. Okay. And it and it's not a you know I think it's a it's not an ear interference thing. It's an offer. Right. And Anita, I think that goes back to what I was saying a little bit earlier when I reached out to um, the John equivalent in Redwood City that he said that there are civic um, projects that come to their arts commission asking for um, potential new art projects to help um, either in the case of uh, near their new senior housing, they had a pumping station that wasn't the most attractive. So they um, hired an artist to work with some local kids and they painted murals on all sides, made it a lot more pleasant. Um, and also like the port of Redwood City to try and get people down there. So. Um, so some cities, they take uh, feedback from organizations within the city who would like art brought to them. Right. So um, 
if I hear it correctly, then John can um, reach out to whoever's working on this particular project and see if there could be a need. John? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And John, remind us when um, uh, do we have to have all our budgeting ideas ready and on paper to send to City Council? That's May, correct? Uh, uh, we should have it wrapped up by the next meeting. So by the, okay. the end of April. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it really needs to be wrapped. That's because it needs to be wrapped into the overall budgeting process kind of by the department. Normally, this would have gone through whatever the department was of the servicing staff member, but you know, you're not a department. You've got John. <laughs> <laughs> the department of one. Um, so let me throw this out there. Do we want as a commission to possibly have a placeholder for something in the next budgeting cycle, a, a process that, that will take a while? Um, but could bring some, uh, you know, an interesting piece of artwork somewhere in the city where people really want it after, you know, some public outreach and such. Oh, Janet, you're on, you're on mute. I, I think it's a good idea to reserve, since it's a significant project to put aside the money to just preserve it. Since, you know, we don't know what the, future budget situation would, like, would look like. I agree, let's let's put a placeholder amount for a gateway or signature art installation. Or, or just larger project right. than, than we've Larger done project. And we could, you know, do a big budget number because, you know, big piece will require a big budget number, you know, like 60,000 or 100,000. Yeah. Terry? Yes. Do you have um, any comments? I concur with everything everybody said, okay. basically. I'm a cautious I, budget person. I, I, I know you are. That's that's why I ask, because I don't want to just say, OK, I don't hear anything from anyone. Let's let's put a big number down. Um, I'm just going to go around. Um, Jenna, I, I don't have anything mm -hmm. to add. OK, and Lucy? I think it's a good idea. Keep it up. Okay. Um, Terry, I think you said 60 or was that Hillary? It was Hillary. Okay. That was me. I think I would do 60 to like, I mean, you might as well put a bigger one on it. If we come in under Okay. even better. And I think if you're talking about getting a pretty significant artist, like we kind of had talked about doing in something in conjunction with the Environmental Commission, you know, you are looking at a big, like if you got to try to get a Cholule or something that you got to pay big fees for that. So a really significant art thing is going to be expensive. You know, so I would say like, at least like 60 to 75 even. Do you want to go 75 and again? I go 75 and if you come in under, then you come in and, under. And, and again, reiterating for the hundredth time, it doesn't lock us into anything. It's right. just it doesn't lock a, us into a anything. placeholder. Right. I don't, I, I, what I don't was that Terry sound that just came from Terry? Don't worry, as long as you're not doing two hundred thousand dollars, I'm good. Uh, did I hear two hundred thousand? Thank you. No, 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 no. Can, can I mean, I that's, still, that's still pretty cheap in the art world to say that. So, I mean, in the yeah. in the having like a ma a major exhibition come to your or major thing come to your town, that's I think relatively. We might be hard pressed to find, so we'll, we'll find out. So yeah, and and um, it might turn out that we get more funding between now and you know six months or a year from now. We we don't know, or we might decide that it's now is not the time. We don't know yet. Right. Yes. Exactly. Um, what would that Chaluli piece be? Do you think? Chaluli, oh, like five million probably, because okay. that's a <laughs> sellout. I mean, I mean okay. his. His like bowls are like five to ten, you know, grand. So okay, all right. And so. it's also those artists are booked out years and years. But you know, you know, with him, you know, you're you're getting a known quantity that's very easily marketed, and that's going to bring revenue to your town. 
because you're basically getting a rock star. So, you know, people the goal will, will go out of their way to come see. Yeah. 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 So maybe it's worth it. I don't know, even maybe a hundred thousand, and, and 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 maybe just every year contribute to that pot yeah. of gold. <laughs> or, yeah. How much can we get for "Will You Dance for Me"? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'd be great to have a really nice, significant art thing, you know, that did draw people in to see it, and it that that type of thing does kind of take funding. So, but it, but as we said, it takes research and getting public input too, because we are, we are very prudent and we've been very prudent so far and we want to be very careful and mindful about how we send, spend the money. So. Yeah. I mean, we've always been a city that ran kind of lean and mean. So we, yeah. we do want to be cognizant of that. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's put that number kind of in that budget as a placeholder and it's not locking us in. It's not saying we're going to spend it. It's just a placeholder. So. So Terry had said two hundred thousand, right? So we could put two hundred thousand. No, let's, sixty. Let's, yeah. Let's, I think we should go to. I think let's either go to seventy-five or a hundred, and then try to work down. You know. Well, I think I think because of what we're facing, you know, worldwide and uh, nationwide with uh, inflation and everything, the the more careful we are, I think the less people will be hating us. You know. That's what I'm well, worried about. So you want to stay at 60? I'm really comfortable with 60. I know art's expensive. I realize that. But this is the first year we've had any money. Let's not, you know, go gung ho and then have everybody mad at us. That's fine with, that's fine with me. Can we go? Let's can we do compromise and go to 75? Yes. I feel Absolutely. like I'm at auction. Um, John, if we. If we put 75 down on the budget and um, let's say we spend six months, we get input and it looks like we need a little more and we do have the funds, you know, in the bank, so to speak, do we go to the city council and just explain why we want to go a little higher? How does that work? Yeah. then and, and that was uh, a large reason why I suggested um, earmarking the dollars for next year. Because if by, you know, this time in 2023, the commission's done the research and says, okay, wait, now it's going to be, you know, $200,000 like Terry suggested. Um, I'm kidding, Terry. Um, I then, she said then, three. Then, then we can, you know, the commission can recommend augmenting the budget for that fiscal year. So um, there's always time, you know, we... We do this on as staff. We we give it our best estimate as we can. Um, but then once a project comes to close to fruition, we have a better idea. We adjust the budget um, recommendations as needed and, and take those to the city council for them to uh, either approve or request other changes um, as needed. Okay. So do do we need a motion on this because it's it's a higher dollar amount or do we just tell you John to put 75 down for what I what I would recommend is once the commission has a full recommendation um, we'll do one motion overall um, you know there's been other suggestions for um, coming you know coming year expenses the T2 uh, midnight stomp some other um, projects farmers that the commission market items other projects the commission may want to do and so once sort of the full package is together um then taking a motion at that time to to recommend it to the city council okay so um probably we'll revisit this next month as well yeah and what what i can do is um, work with the subcommittee um as we put together the report for next commission meeting um, to include the items that have been discussed thus far. Okay. And I think one thing we'll, we'll also, um, as a commission, have to decide if we want to do another call for art. We typically do them once every year, year and a half, but um, we still have a lot of pieces coming in and um, they haven't come in yet and they're, they're probably going to come in over the next couple months. So we may want to hold off on a call for art for a while for for sculptures for the for the art without walls formerly known as the sculpture loan program 
Um, so for the subcommittee, you would work with John, which subcommittee would that be? Would that be Janet and myself? Yeah, that was my, what I was referring to. The okay. one that had been put together to come up with recommendations for the budget. Okay, so we'll meet with you um, between now and the next meeting and you'll uh, correlate all the information we've given you and, and we'll give you some more feedback before the next meeting, correct? John? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Does um, anyone else have any feedback or comments or ideas for the budget? Terry, it looks like you were gonna say something. Uh, no, I'm I'm comfortable. You know, I'm just worried about the economy, but don't worry about and, me. <laughs> and, and and every time I turn on the news, you know, I grind my teeth. So, um, but we don't, you know, we're gonna hope for better days, and we don't know between now and like six months or a year from now what the world's, you know, what's going to go on. So we're we're gonna just. That's hope why for... you have mouth guards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's almost eight though. Let's wrap it up. I'm just gonna be frank. All right, <laughs> let's go on to inf informational items. Um, I've got a couple things that I'd like to see on the next agenda, but I'll take it offline. Um, Hillary, did you did you have anything on the two worlds one voice as an informational item? Uh, that just was a poetry reading we were going to do, but one of the poets is stuck in China, so we canceled it. So we will. You know, circle back to that at some point, but we're just not going to do it right now. So. Okay. Um, no, no money was spent on that, so. Okay. Just time. So. Okay, Terry likes that. Yeah. Um, do we have any other informational items from any other of the commissioners? Nope. Okay. John, do you have anything? Not beyond what I've already shared throughout the meeting. I will say, I will say, oh, Terry's got a hand up, and I will say quickly that on the conservation end, I have reached out to some folks about doing art restoration without much luck, but we'll keep working on it. Is that for, is that for, um, uh, all the pieces that need more work than the city can do, so that's all I'm, I'm going to say for right now. Just know we're working okay. on it. Okay. Got it. Um, we right. did notice that not all of the new, um, Sculptures are up on the city's website. Not that you don't need anything else on your job list, but FYI. That, that was actually one Thank of my you. things to update the web pages um, as an informational item. I know you've been working on the housing element, so. Yeah, I know, I know John's it. been busy with that. Yeah, yeah. All right, if anyone, if anyone else does not have anything, let's uh, call it a day and go eat our dinner. Sweet. I'm looking around. I don't see any hands okay. up. Let's call it a, a night. Um, Thanks for everybody and your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. All right.